Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for cats and Lots Atari cats. games. Oh Lots of cats. Lots of cats. Uh, tonight, we're going to be playing some Jaguar games. Here we go. Jaguar games. Yeah. Four of them. Actually, we're going to be playing some Jaguar conversions. Um, that's the theme of the night. Okay, uh, okay. Jaguar conversions from the Atari ST, okay. which was a computer mm -hmm. that was out around the same time as the Jaguar that shares some things but doesn't share others. So we'll be talking a little bit about what is a conversion is and what it takes to convert mm. a game from the Atari ST? ST to the Jaguar. Bad mm. cats. Um, but I would like to... Oh, uh, the games we're going to be playing tonight are Joust... Midnight Resistance, Flying Shark, mm -hmm. and Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters, which that has like fun. probably the longest title of any video game that I've ever heard of. That's Maybe. a really long yeah, title. A, Attack of the Petsky Robots. But. That's, that's pretty <laughs> long, that's pretty but this long is too. longer. Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters. That's, that's, this that's definitely um, predates that one. So. Yes, and they were all converted by Lawrence Stavely, Cyrano oh, J. Hey, Cyrano J. Who's in the chat tonight? Hello, welcome. <laughs> um, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support this show. Thank you so much for your support. They're scrolling mm -hmm. beside Tanya there. A cardboard box, Alan the Fur, Andrew, Atari, Atari, Donner, XL Rules, Atari 974, Atari H, Beef Supreme, BR Polka, Buffalo, Pinball, Chelsea, Donnie Mount, Charles Willen, Chitlilla, Colonel Lama, Cuban, and Smoke, Cyrano Reboot. Uh, Stan, if you see Drexel, Dr. Mook has Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Rose, your rapper, Johnny W.C. Carl G. Kveltifer, Lambda Express, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari. Uh, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Latown, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mrs. Arnold, Mr. Fix, Money Funds, Nathan Strum, New Media, Nostalgia, Pack Rock, Coog, R70, Rendy Ghost, Pinless, Vidi, Revan Tool, Ricardo Pim, Rowdy Caster, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Warp, Spenley, Esmeras, TK, Dan K, Track, MDV, XRX, Vintage Game, Memories, Vic Toko, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X. And Atari supports the show too in yes. its own way. Yes, Atari! If you would like to support the show, just uh, hit uh, subscribe and your name will appear on the list. Mm -hmm. It's as easy as that. Um, so we have a poll question tonight. Ooh, exciting. Um, it is relate, not related to Jaguar whatsoever. Um, but that's nose. fine. Mm. I get an itchy nose sometimes when I, I know. do the show uh, as well. Uh, 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 here is the poll question. Do you get an itchy nose? He says, yes. Oh, I it's do. So I just itchy. sneeze. It's so itchy. Um, did you order the Atari 2600 Plus or plan to? Oh. It is filling all. my f social media feeds. All on the YouTubes. It's just all constant. YouTube, yeah, Facebook, Twitter. Everybody's like, look, I got one. Look, <laughs> yeah. their face and, and the 2600 yeah. Plus box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, about, I'd say 25% of them are like, I'm not opening it till Christmas. <laughs> anyway. That's nice. The uh, answers are one. Yes, I ordered one. And I have a Retron 77. Okay. Number two. Yes, I ordered one, and I don't have a Retron 77. Mm -hmm. Three, no, I didn't order one, and I do have a Retron 77. And four, no, and I don't have a Retron 77. Yeah. Just and neither of them. Just no intention. No of intention. One. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, this is Fair not enough. Fair enough. exactly the right crowd because we're this is a um, Jaguar yeah. night, but yeah. Most of the people who are here for Jaguar and don't care about 2600 will fall under four. Mm -hmm. So that's okay, because that's not the number I'm particularly interested in. Interesting. Okay. Um, for those of you who chose one, of which there are none, so this is not going to turn out to be very interesting. <laughs> not, a great, <laughs> um, not a great discussion. Is that what you're saying? Um, but I would have asked those people. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you buy... The 2600 plus, I, I guess you can actually answer this if you mm -hmm. picked um, two as well, um, and you didn't buy Retron 77, because they're very, very, very similar items. They're, they're so similar. They You put a cartridge, 2600 cartridge in it. Okay. You turn it on, yeah. and it plays that game. Yeah, yeah. Well, it plays some of the games. Mm -hmm. uh, a good majority of them. Oh, Diaskilos has jumped in and said one. <gasps> one, you can Yay. answer this. Okay, so you have a Retron 77 and you bought an Atari 2600 Plus. They may not have it yet, but... Yeah, but yeah. it's coming or you have it. Yeah. Why? Why is the question? Uh, because of its aesthetic? Because they oh, do the same thing, they, right? But aesthetically, 
Uh, the yeah. 2600 plus is quite it's pleasing. It's nice. It's very, very It's nice. quite pleasing. Yes. And I, I have to say, I do like the aesthetics. Oh, it's beautiful. You know? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, did you buy it out of FOMO? <laughs> everyone else is getting it. I got to get it too. Or some other Not reason. Else. Not everyone else is getting it. So, you know? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Carl G said, I'd buy a Jaguar Plus for sure, which could mean that mere mortals can enjoy the console too. There you go. It's it's pricey. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Understandably Actually, pricey. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and there's homebrews for that and mm -hmm. lots of good games for that. Well, we'll find out if there's lots of good games very soon. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, because they're playing them all. So, yeah, bought it 100% for testing purposes. Mm. I think a lot of people in I'm the sure Atari true. forums, yeah. like I saw a lot of people that I know have the Retro on 77, like yeah. Thomas Yench. Yeah. He he says he, he bought one as well. But it's for testing his own but parts. But he's part of the Stella team. Oh, okay. And that Stella makes a is lot of on sense. both of those items. So yeah. it makes sense that he would have both of those because yeah. he has a vested interest in making sure Stella works its best for both of those and how well does it work on yeah. both. Yeah. No. Um Dioskeos Nostalgia grew up on Atari. Yes. Oh nostalgia. I didn't have that as yes. an answer. That is a good answer. Um actually. got the twenty six hundred back in seventy nine. Yeah. Because you may not get the retron seventy seven because it's not Atari, right? It's it doesn't not quite as, look like an no, Atari. That's right, yeah. This one looks it's, like an Atari. I do think it makes it more appealing because it has that that as you say the aesthetic yeah. of it really 80%, looks like a VCS. It's a four switch light Very four cool switcher. Looking. Yeah. Um and it's just 20% yeah smaller. Yeah. So it's it does look very nice. Yeah. 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 Eventually, I agree you know, too. maybe I'll get one and gut it and put something else in it. <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. I'll put the community uh version that uh, oh, there you people go. are working on inside. <laughs> A 2600 plus. See, I didn't get one yeah. because I have, a, I have so many 2600s. Yeah. I also have a Retron 77. 77. Yeah. yeah. Um, nobody's done a side-by-side -side analysis yet of the compatibility with cartridges of the sev Retron 77 versus the 2600, 2600 plus, plus. Because yeah. it just got into people's hands like today, yesterday, tomorrow. That's kind of the big mm -hmm. glut that's coming out. So what you're saying is we need to get one of each. And no. just do an <laughs> ASMR stream of just people clicking in the cartridge, Ooh. clicking the cartridge, turning it on, turning Ooh. it off, unclicking just a, just it, clicking it in, turn it on, turn it off. Completely filling the screen yeah. of the 2600 yeah. plus. Click, click. Yeah. Chuk. It's and an a little excuse inset. for me to get a really good manicure. Oh, there you go. Okay, <laughs> just, we're going to order one. Just an ASMR stream. <laughs> overnight, it from, overnight it from Amazon and we'll just go through our, our cartridge collection and it just click, click click most of them have been tested yeah. of the ones that we do have. okay, okay. Uh, there's might be a couple there that aren't actually i know there's a couple that no. like burger time they haven't tested burger time oh. yet oh that's so common oh yeah yeah the, the 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 untested on that list just boggles my mind but um your pocock marathon of parallel testing that's yeah. right but no words just the sound just no of the words. clicking and the switches the going on click then yep. off again. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing replaces the real thing. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I like how the new Atari is doing yeah. things, so I want to support them. Yeah. Good. That's a good and reason. That is a nice reason to yes, do it. That's very too. nice. Yeah. They they are doing fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll give them a passing grade right <laughs> now. And if they continue on the way that they're doing it, yeah. It's they're going to turn around people's expectations. Or, of them. Or, or perspective of the company, right? Yes. Because, yeah. 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 That's good. And a paper with tick marks. There yeah. you go. We got it Ooh, all yes. set up. <gasps> yes. We'll do, we'll do a, a, a long, long marathon yep. of cartridges Just going in. Handwriting. <laughs> Microphone XX. really, really close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they seem yeah. to be really trying. That's that's a great uh, way yeah. of seeing it. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, speaking of um, twenty six hundreds, let's just continue that theme because I've got some. Some newses. It's not super new, but um, this is the TI. Uh, this is an Atari Twenty Six Hundred HDMI mod. Okay. Um, it's it's. I found it very interesting, and I first saw this whole infrastructure. I think first on the C sixty four being used, and then it's on. Then I saw it on the Atari Eight Bit, and now they've made it available for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. So what it does is one part of this mod is the same for each of those systems. Mm. The other part manipulates the video feed 
into something it can understand, that other part. Um, so TAA digitizer is the part that is on the 2600. The TAA digitizer is a small add-on board that can be installed into an Atari 2600 console that produces a Luma code signal. That's like the common denominator between the C64 Atari 8-bit and the 2600. Okay. It turns it into something that this other part completely can completely understand. Okay. And that upgrades it to an HDMI signal. Okay. Uh, this signal contains all the information of the video screen in a semi-digital form that can be losslessly processed mm -hmm. uh, in conjunction with an RGB to HDMI upscaler or some other compatible device. This will create a pixel-perfect display. So this is a way to display it on a more modern TV, right? Yes. Okay. Um, you'd, you'd have to install this mod kit yourself. Of course. <laughs> um, so there it is, and it and predictably it goes in between um, the TIA chip, mm. which is the television interface adapter. Mm. Um, so you take out your TIA, put this in, put the TIA on top of it, it intercepts the signal, puts it out over that wire. Um, really easy installation. Like you just take out the chip, put that one back in. Um, audio is separate. You'll have to do the recombining of the audio into the HDMI. There's lots of things that can do that. And there's the um, three things. There's audio and um, video, which is, what's it called again? Luma code. I think there's two things for the Luma code. Um, but one is, one is, there you go. Yellow composite, red audio, black Luma code. Okay, so it provides a composite as well. So you can plug it into other things. You don't need to use the Luma code. Um, so let's go over to the, uh, the Luma code. Luma code is an interface standard for transferring digital video data from retro computers. So I'm guessing they're planning on introducing this to a bunch of different lines of computers. Um, and they've got three going so far. Uh, its main application is to use for machines that do not already expose the video signal in a digitally usable form, okay. which is almost all of them. All the back old then. ones, yeah. yeah. Um, because of its simplicity, the necess necessary hardware to generate the Luma code signal for a specific machine can be made quite, quite cheaply. The main effort to translate the signal to something that can be used for an actual monitor or TV then can then be done by an external upscaler. The upscaler is probably more expensive, but can be shared by multiple retro computers so would that would be like a retro tank um the, is yeah that what it does um that? you have to use their hardware their to hardware. Okay. transfer it from luma code to something else okay um but i think then you can upscale it from there um people have to look into it let's just see hmm. Um, and it says what the bit pattern is, different voltages. So it's it's digital but analog at the same time. Mm. Um, wiring up an RGB to HDMI to connect upscaler. The, yeah. To connect the loop code to an RGB to HDMI upscaler with a six-pin analog input, you need an adapter cable that converts the RCA six-pin female da, 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 uh, for Luma. Uh, hmm. Let's just click over there. Converts the digital RGB video signal to HDMI or DVI. So that that's where the problem comes in with the 2600, which is outlined on this post on the Atari Age forums. Because what I have is a retro tank, and it takes whatever signal. Currently, with my uh, 2600, it takes an RGB signal mm -hmm. and then converts it to an HDMI out. Now, the 2600 does not have the cleanest of output okay. in terms of steady video signal. Okay. You can get a whole variety of different things. And as people saw with um, Mr. Run and Jump when I did it a couple days ago, yeah. it had some issues between screens. It dropped out for a number of frames. Okay. Now, the retro tank goes, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'll just fill in the blanks. Gotcha. If you didn't have something that could fill in those dead spaces, spaces yeah. um, 60ths of a second, yeah. what happens is on modern uh, televisions, it just goes, I don't have a signal. Boom. On one frame, it goes, I don't have a signal, and it'll die. Mm. And it'll start searching for a signal, and it'll go out for like 5 to 10 seconds. Mm. I don't know if you remember back mm. 
five years ago when we started this channel, we used a Frame Meister. It didn't handle it so well. Yeah, I do remember that. And it would anytime I played a game that had any issues, it would it would with, just it would just go choke. Pfft, yeah. And I'd go, oh, I can't play this game. We had to emu we'd have to play it through emulator. Emulate. Yeah, I do remember doing that quite a bit. <laughs> so uh, with this, uh, where is where did he say it? Um, da, 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 da. Uh, there's still mass currently. Oh, there it is. Currently, there are a few titles that result that resulting in temporary screen blanking when they change scan lines in game, but the majority of classics and homebrews work just fine. The significance of this depends on the display. So that is the issue that RetroTink solves, and because this is already converting it to an HDMI signal, you you would have problems with certain games, and I don't think even putting a retro tank in line with that, well, that doesn't have HDMI input. You'd have to get the retro tank 4K <laughs> to solve that possibly. So, yeah. So this is this is good for a, a bunch of titles, but it won't be a, a good solution for every title. But it's, it's very neat because it's um, platform independent part of it. So you get one part that's platform dependent, one part that's in platform um, non-dependent, right? It, I just thought it was a really cool um, project. Uh, what are people saying? 7800 GD with RGB output running 2600 games, no mod required. I wonder, I wonder. Because um, uh, my 7800 GD isn't here yet, but it would have the... What's that cat doing? He's... I don't know. <laughs> It would have the same dropouts through the RGB and you would still get those same frame dropouts because there's just no frame there. Or it's a malformed frame and R an RGB signal still carries that dropped frame. It doesn't magically make it disappear. Mm. Um, the FPG in the cart generates a signal. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. The FP if there's an FPGA in the cart, that might solve it. Um, that's true. Depends on how it handles it. Yeah. It's not using the 7800 hardware. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Sarah um, knows. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see about mm. that. Uh, I'll uh, test it when it comes here on some difficult games, let's say. Um, so of course, the big news today is the 2600 plus is getting in everybody's hands. Um, but, uh, for good or for bad, Atari released some news on the same day that the 2600 plus is getting in everyone's hands and i think this was kind of overlooked um so what they're going to be releasing very soon is a controller for the 7800 games that has two buttons and it's modeled after the european 7800 controller Smart. yeah the, um and i don't see anybody talking about this oh interesting um, because they just post the only well they I think they posted on their news but also posted in the Atari forums the mm. pictures of it. This is mm. the only place that they posted pictures of it. Um, so it looks looks cute. I like it. Yeah, I mean yeah. I have one over there. Yes, and it's, I think I've seen it. And it's yeah. great for people who are really used to D pads. Well, yeah, yeah, I can see that. And also hate the the pain line controllers the pain of the seven controller. seven eight hundred. Which, Since you describe them as oh. the pain line, I would think a lot of people might enjoy those. Because you so. have to make your hand into a claw <laughs> like this for hours if you wanted to play play mm. it. So, yeah, for people who don't have one of these or don't have access to one of these, this is a, a really great replacement. Yeah. Depending on the price, they're probably going to be cheaper than yeah. say aftermarket third party controllers like mm -hmm. the. Two buttons, two button ones I have, but depends on the price. Availability, it's going to be uh, huge. ITC says, I'm sure I'll get one of these to two button Euro styler controllers. Yeah. Yes. Oh, way better than the pain line controllers. That's, they won't cost much to mail. They're lighter than mm -hmm. air, just plastic. But yeah, they look like they've replicated them really well, just That's like they nice. did with the 2600 plus. Yeah, really nice. Really good attention to detail. They've got those uh, divots in there. So you know exactly where the button is. Um, yeah, looks really, really good. Um, and also they uh, updated the compatibility list. Um, Thomas Yench said he looked at the updated compatibility list. Now the 2600 Plus is released. And he's like, it hasn't been updated. Um, and then uh, Ben from PlayOn, the people who um, manufactured the 2600 Plus, okay. released a new 
uh, compatibility, an updated compatibility list that we're going to take a look at very, very, very briefly. Okay. Let me just bring this up. Oh, um, who's meowing over there? Oh, the cats. So here's the <laughs> compatibility list. Uh, like he said, let me just make sure. Uh, that's good. I don't like switching screens without previewing it. Uh, 73 changes. So they've updated 73 of their games that were untested before. Uh, 68 moved to not tested or fail to now pass with five remaining or new fails. Um, so there's still a bunch of untested. Mm. I mean, some of these, that's fine. Um, well, basic math is really easy to find. Uh, racing pack, that's not easy to find. Real sports, boxing failed. Signal tracing cartridge, I don't blame them for that one. <laughs> Stargate, that's really easy to find. A little, yeah. a slight bit Some, pricey, yeah. but that's yeah. not too bad. Someone has it. Actionauts, I don't know what the ra rarity of that one is, but artillery duel, that's kind of rare because it's double ender, but that's a single non double ender which I don't have a copy of. I've like a multiple double enders. Burger time. That's everywhere. I don't know why they don't have that. Uh, two pack special motocross press boom bang. Yeah, that's uh, a fail, but it's also rare. Um, I have those. I, I could test those, I guess. A circus <laughs> convoy. That's really weird that they don't have that. But I think that's the only homebrew on the list. On One of the list. only home yeah. homebrews. Yeah. Um, that'll get tested immediately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. John Hancock did a uh, a number of tests as well, and it did, mm -hmm. and it worked. So this needs to be updated. Uh, communist sure it's constantly needing updating. So. Oh yeah, until they either all say P or F. Okay. Communist mutants from space, awesome game. On cassette. Um, none of the Star Pass Supercharger games worked okay. because the Star Pass Supercharger itself has a preloader. Mm -hmm. So once it's there. Then that's you're... that's all you get. Okay. It only loads once. It doesn't let you load again. Gotcha. Oh, Circus Convoy is not homebrew. There you go. Ah, uh, Alnifer. <laughs> that's why it's on the list. <laughs> uh, so all the Dragon Stomper, the Communist Mutants from anything that says cassette is is going to go to fail right now. Uh, Crab Control. I don't remember playing that. Um, James Bond 007. I don't think there's many fails le uh, left. Pitfall. Uh, two is a fail. Omega Race, He Man um, is a fail. It's not. It's looking. It looks pretty good. De decent given yeah. the, the number of passes. The ones that are not passing are fairly rare. They're not yeah. ones that people would probably have. Yeah. Robot Tank, people would have that. That's a common one and very uh, good one as well. Um, yeah, the rest are pretty pretty obscure. Yeah. Um, not games. a lot of F's. Not a lot of F's. That's nope. pretty good to see. Uh, so I think this uh, Tunnel Runner is pretty common. Uh, um, and there's only uh, Tank Command. I remember John Hancock tested that. That does work. Rampage is the only one that doesn't work. So for 7800, they did really well. Um, and so, and they said there's, they're going to be doing an update to the firmware in the future okay. to improve in compatibility. Al is working That's on... That's what what you want to hear, is that if, if they do encounter something that doesn't work, maybe they'll come up with a way to make it work in the future. So. As long as it's, it's not something that the cartridge reader is like, it just can't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like That's the cassette fair. things. Like yeah. it, it can only read once. That's yeah. all it can do. Um, possibly <laughs> you could like have a workaround with the cassettes like okay you've got to that screen press play it starts reading it onto the star pass supercharger and then you load up the 2600 again mm -hmm. and then it dumps what's on the star pass supercharger maybe um but, and also al has said that he started to work uh through the homebrews um at least the atari age homebrews and doing a compatibility test there for the 2600 plus and then he's going to work his way out. And of course, the community is going to help as well. Hey, <laughs> bad cats. Um, so that's 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 the news for um, 2600 plus. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. OK, back, 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 back. <laughs> Every time I touch this, it's like, oh, you want to do that? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. OK, so uh, on to the games uh, that we're going to be playing tonight. They are termed as conversions. Yes. 
Um, they're not originals because they are from Atari ST ver uh, versions. They're not necessarily ports either because they are using existing code from the Atari ST games. But at the same time, there's a ton of work that went into them to convert them over. Um, so kind of the term I'm using, and uh, I know Cyrano uh, J has also used that term as conversions, conversions from Atari ST. And I think that's a pretty that's a good, good yeah, that is. Uh, name for it. Um, so let's just take a look at the list. This is on the Atari Age forums of the games that are available for you to download right now. Nice. Um, for conversions from the ST. There it is in the chat. Um, here's an attempt to collect all the current and future ST ports into a nice and easy brow to browse thread complete with videos and download links. Most of these can be found on my YouTube channel, etc., etc. Um, so we're going to be using the Jaguar uh, game drive to play this. Um, people who have the skunk board, which is like quite old. I don't know when that was released, but it's not available anymore. Yeah. But the Jaguar GD is quite available. Okay. And there is a huge list of games. Um, all in alphabetical order. Uh, 1943, Action Fighter, etc., etc., etc. There you go. Tons. I was like, are you going to, are you going to read them all out? Like, it's, no. like it's the subscriber <laughs> list? I'm not. I will leave that to, to the viewer <laughs> to check out. Yeah. Um, but there's lots of great titles, very recognizable titles. Rampage, R-Type, Star Wars. Uh, uh, that's a British name for it. TMHT, the arcade. T TMNT, Teammate, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Hero. I was like, the ninja. That's what's replaced. Are you aware of that? that whole thing i think so i think i saw Where something recently for some about reason that. ninjas were banned in in so they in didn't Britain like ninja for, it was too violent it's too violent the cartoon's all the same That's but we can't say ninja but they're teenage mutant hero turtles yeah, to me, that is turtle. very strange so funny we aren't allowed ninjas and nunchucks <laughs> No ninjas! <laughs> it's so and no funny. nunchucks. No nunchucks. Yeah. Golden Axe, mm. Gauntlet 2, Lots uh, Darius, uh, nice. Bubble Bobble. All the nunchuck scenes are cut. <laughs> All the nunchucks. <laughs> he goes for his nunchucks. So one of the turtles does not get to fight. Oh my goodness, how he funny. He just stands back every yeah. time there's a fight. It's like, you guys it. can take him. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, um, so if you have a, a Jaguar game drive, Samurai Turtles. Oh, I don't know. And all the uh, MRQs are available as well. And those mm -hmm. are the, the um, titles or the um, graphics okay. that you see on the side oh, when you go okay. through the menu. Nice. So it's very nice. Mm. Um, so there you go. And that was uh, the knit list was originally posted in 2015. I think that's when he really started ramping up. Um, so let's just take a look at what goes into these conversions really quickly because it is very technical. So I'm not going to get into the weeds in this. Mm. Um, he has a write-up on uh, this old reboot website. Um, this looks like this. It was switched over from around 2013, I think, 2015 or something. Um, let's just try and get this big, so everyone can see it. There we go. Uh, redirecting, <laughs> redirecting Atari ST games to Jaguar. A short guide to help demystify some of the magic involved in getting Atari ST games running on the Atari uh, Jaguar. Um, and when I when I was talking with uh, Cyrano, who's in the, in the chat right now, um, and he says Diet Pepsi, Barbecue Crisp, and swearing goes into them. Those are the magic ingredients. <laughs> yeah. But he said, these aren't easy or quick or simple ports. Mm. The flat out similar similarity is the 68000. That's the uh, CPU in both the Atari ST and the Jaguar. Mm. That's And he said, that's where the similarities, similarities end. There's nothing else in common. No video, no sound, no IO, nothing. Just the chip that runs them. Um, the ST and Jaguar share two things in common. <gasps> There's two things. Uh, both run a 68,000 CPU. Secondly, they are both capable of running in 16 color, four bit per pixel graphics modes. Mm -hmm. So the graphics modes are similar, but as we'll see, um, that's where the similarity ends. The way they encode the video, um, the graphics is different. So given that, you might imagine it would not be too difficult to make software from the ST to run on the Jaguar. However, in practice, things are not quite simple. Let's take a quick look at why. Atari ST versus Atari Jaguar. RAM, uh, 
Atari ST has four megs. Atari Jaguar is two. That's a that's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's half the RAM. Uh, the RAM addressing, as you can imagine, is is a smaller range. Uh, the audio chip is completely different. This is a Yamaha chip, and this has a DSP, a digital signal processor. Color mapping, RGB 333, 512 color. Jaguar is 556, 6,550. Yeah, yeah, so that's actually good okay. in terms of Jaguar because you can use a subset of you that. You can use a to, subset, yeah. So you just need to sense. translate the colors, colors. over. Yeah. Uh, input, uh, keyboard, mouse, joystick, uh, um, and Jar Atari Jaguar is a jag pad. I mean, it can support the mouse. You can emulate the keyboard with key presses if you mm -hmm. don't use too many mm -hmm. um hardware registers uh it's a different location not not the end of the world but you can't you'd have to hunt down those things you mm -hmm. can't just go yep that's fine i don't um know what this means but uh gem dos has none of it on the jaguar or, or bios mm -hmm. or x bios um uh, functions via trap one trap 13 trap 14 not sure what that means but that's okay those last three are the STOS. Oh, okay. okay, so obviously it's a computer. It has an operating system. Jaguar has no operating system. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Cyrano, for filling in the blanks. No need. Hardly any commercially used games that use over one meg. Okay. Well, that's well, good. that's good. That okay. makes life a little easier, I guess. Where the UK has no problem with all the metal stabbing and slicing weapons, but two blocks of wood and headbutting triggered. <laughs> Won't somebody think of the children? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, since the ST Gamma Dev says since the ST has no real graphics hardware. Uh, it was all CPU drawing into a faint frame buffer. Mm. Note, notice must say Amiga sound, since that was probably more straightforward playing samples than the Jags YM sounds. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference. On top of that, you also have the MFP processor in the ST, which handles the system timers. While timers are available in the Jaguar, they are handled completely differently. However, even given all the above, the major problem has not even been mentioned, which is video RAM. So at least uh, they have the same resolution. Mm. Uh, 320 by 200 uh, for uh, bits per pixel uh, but one is planar and one is chunky those words don't mean anything to me <laughs> but the ST video memory is organized as four bit planes in chunks of 16 pixels two bytes per plane four planes interleaved Jaguar memory is linear chunky uh, with one byte representing two pixels mm. Uh, take a look at the information below. To produce a pixel of color 15 in the far left-hand column of 16 pixels on the ST, you would need the following four 16-bit values. Um, so it goes 1, 1, 1, and they're all layered on top of each other. To produce the same result in Jaguar, would look like this. 1, 1, 1, 1, and oh. the rest are zeros. Now, it may look like the f that is four times the data needed for the ST display, but remember those four lines of numbers are generating 16, 16. pixels. Oh. Whereas a single lot of Jaguar only generate four pixels. Yeah. So there are a number of ways to dealing with this, including recode all the graphics routines to Jaguar specifics. Mm -hmm. If the display is written in chunks, reorganize the data format for the Jaguar output. I did this for Bebris. Uh, take the screen output as rendered for the ST and process into a Jaguar format in real time. Um, so the rest of it goes over how he manipulated the video data reorganized it how we processed it um, and this page only touches on video this does not touch on the input output doesn't touch on sound anything so if you're interested in uh, learning a bit about how uh, this was done or it was done back then it might have changed since since then uh, what are you drinking tonight <laughs> I'm just having a, a cocktail a tequila. tequila sunrise. Olay, olay. I don't think I think this is uh, distinctively a Vancouver is it? company. Yeah. Yeah, alcohol I find. Or Calgary, Calgary, is, Toronto, Vancouver. It's very localized. Olay. Some of it is. Because there's yeah, there's still diet Pepsi Canadian. and swearing involved. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so that's still a constant in uh, yeah. converting it's, over. It's a tequila sunrise. There ah. you go. Uh, this is an incredible amount of work and documentation. Yeah. Ooh, well thank done. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Just in time, because we're about to go to the first game. Yeah. So let's, let me start it off and get the betting going. For those of you who have not experienced this before. Who is excited? Stop shaking that. Um, stop shaking it. I have to explain things. <laughs> okay. 
Explain away if you've never seen this before. If you've never seen this before, the cats are now about to compete for treats. Yes. Um, but you can bet on it um, because you're watching. Um, and they're channel points. Uh, they don't mean anything. just means you can do stuff like this. Yeah. They're not real money. Um, they're worth something, though. They're worth cats. Yes. Um, feeding cats. Keep. This is Sprite. Oh, you... Oh, do you want to flip it oh, over? Yeah. yeah. Let's flip it over. So you can see him. Um, this is Sprite. He's very fast at eating. Uh, he's very good at catching yes. uh, the food. Um, so he's, he's very fast. But he gets distracted easily. This is Atari. He is very good at batting away the food. Yeah. <laughs> and also scared that Sprite will eat it. Yeah. So he runs away and eats a little bit slower because of that. Yeah. So most people bet on Sprite, but... Once in a while, Atari, Atari wins. wins, and there's yep. a big windfall for anybody who... Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, unboxing. Yes, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, big windfall for anybody who bets on Atari yes. and wins. So if you want to bet on one of these cats, you can bet, I think, as little as 10? A 10 bit points. Is it, what is it? Bit, bits. Bits? I don't know what I call it. Channel points. Channel points. Do you can rename it. Bites. Bites. Okay. Bits or bites, one or the other. And... Um, Oh, thank you for following. Yay! Reach out and touch. <laughs> a fan of Depeche Mode? I was going to say, I just listened <laughs> to that in my car ride home. <laughs> uh, nibble on the bits of bites. Yes. Um, so you just click on predict at the top. Yes. Oh, it's over. Uh, oh, really? That was so fast. Yep. Oh, no, no it's, it's not still over. Going. Oh, it's still uh, going. So Sorry. hit the predict button and pick your cat and pick your bet. Yes. Yep, you've got a few seconds left, so you've got a little bit all, of time to do it. Oh, Charles Whelan, all in on Sprite. Sorry, Atari. Yep. All in on Atari. Wow. <laughs> Good taste. Oh, yes. yeah. They're coming to Vancouver very soon. Yeah. Their new album is... Eh, so I'm not going to go see them. Oh. Their other albums are very good. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Cats. Very, very good Cats. band. It's not letting you bet. Oh, no. It's just cancelled. It just oh, finished. Oh, it just finished. I, I wonder if you jumped in a little late, but that's very strange. Possibly a little late. Um, you, you have were to pick out the cat, and you have to pick an amount. Yeah, but also someone was sort of mentioning that possibly if they have ad blockers, that might cause problems. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, someone had a similar issue, but I don't know if it was resolved or not. I don't know. Yeah. Sprite's off the wall tonight. He is off the wall he tonight. Is. He's looking. He is ready to go. Okay, cats. Are you ready? Oh, nine people bet. 33 of you. Dan, thank you oh. for policing. <laughs> go. Uh, uh, I heard something, but I didn't know who. Oh, oh, that's... that is definitely Sprite. Okay. Okay, one for bell. Sprite. Hit the bell. Oh, come on, Atari. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. I know you're eight years old now. Oh, oh wow. that was a nice good ring. Very good ring. Oh, and he knocked it across. Him. Oh, my God. He's lost it. And one for Sprite again. He can get it. Oh, my God. He does bat it out of the way, which is a problem. Oh, another one for Sprite. Oh, Atari's got it out now. That's good. Come on. Come oh, on, Carl, you had to Atari. refresh his browser to get it showing up tonight. Did hmm. you hit it? No, I don't think you hit it. No. Come on, Atari. Oh, harder. Oh, harder. 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 Oh, oh Sprite got another one. Come harder. on, Atari. There good we go. Kitty. Oh, my goodness. He goes nuts. He, he goes. He gets so excited. And it's under the couch, of course. He can get it. Yep, he got it. Nope, that didn't make a sound. There we go, Sprites. It's now 5-2. And Atari's on his game. Just don't bat it away and you'll be fine. He's just so scared of Sprite getting it. Oh, geez, that went Bang. right into his mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. And again. Harder? Oh, harder. Harder? harder. There Good we go. Kitty. Good kitty. 7-4. We go to 10, by the way. No, no, didn't hear that. No, no. Oh, so soft. Oh my gosh, it's bouncing <laughs> off my knee. There we go. Once Atari's getting, once he's into it, he can do it. As long as he's not batting it across the room. Oh, oh we're at game oh, point. That, oh, you might, you're going to have to pull that out. Sorry. That bounced. Oh, it's behind the um, power bar. The power bar. This might give uh, Atari a chance. Atari? No, oh! Oh, trying to steal oh, it. Oh no, Atari. Come hit on. the bell. Hit, there Good you kitty. go. Six points. Come on, four more, Atari. It's game point. Oh, game point for it's Sprite. It's going to be over in a second here. Sprite. And, and oh. it's over. Ten to six. All nope, right. Too late. Consolation <laughs> treats for Atari. Yep. There we go. Wow, that was... Ooh.
That was a Not rough even one. close. Not Atari close. next time. Six points, buddy. Six points. He batted it under the couch. He batted into the lights. Yeah, That's right by point. a mile. That's why it's so dark. What's going on? Oh, missing a light. Oh, oh, right in That's the eyes. better. There, it's right by a mile. Yes. Oh yeah, we're gonna do some unboxing. Yeah, and uh, you're gonna have to get dispense points. Don't forget oh, that. Sorry. Yep. People want points. want their their one points. Okay. Let's see. Let's see who got the points. It's it is Sprite. There we go. Maybe need a warm up period of a couple of treats before the actual yeah. game. Maybe. I do think uh, Atari sometimes does better after uh, catnip. I've noticed. So, so there was twenty one thousand points up for grabs. That's big. That's yeah, big. that's a lot of points. Thank you for and, all your um, three on Atari, six on Sprite. A lot bet on Atari. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Charles Whelan was the big winner tonight. Nice. Congratulations, Charles Whelan. Uh, okay, so it's unboxing time. Um, mm -hmm. The first thing I got... Ooh, got really stuff. I'm going to show either side of this, but anyway, I'll just pull it out because I already opened it. Yeah. It's from... Uh, cool Novelties. Mm. And this is for the Atari 8-bit nice. computer. And it is a VBXE to SCART sideways? adapter. Are, are the SCARTs always sideways like that, or yeah, it can be that? It can okay. Be that. No, no, but I mean like angled like this. Uh, Usually? so far. Okay. What I've I, seen. I just wasn't. I like that. I it's like because that. Because they they're for because TVs. Because they stick out a lot too. Yeah. Right. So they go in behind a TV. I I just so like it when flush. they angle cords. Yeah, I, it's I find very very nice. That works a lot better, but. Oh, Dan won 576 mm. on the 250 bet on Sprite. There we yeah. go. Now I was having trouble with my Atari 8 bit. Yeah. Um, it was the the whites were kind of going yellow, and they're going yes, back to white, yes, and yeah, yellow. Yeah, and they were having some some and, troubles. And at one point, I was like fiddling with this the, my old cable. Okay. And I was like, oh, it's oh, it's better if it's I fiddle with it. Adjusting a little, yeah. And so I was like, oh, that cable's gone, or you know, mm -hmm. one of the wires. So Something's I bought off, yeah. a new one. It's from the UK. The only there's one place in the whole. Wow. Whole world that sells this cable. And that's in the UK. Like, Please don't go away. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I bought it and I and I got it the other day and I put it on my Atari 8 bit mm. and it was fine for days after. So I was like, oh, that's it. And I even posted in my uh, zero page club saying, I fixed it, it's done, yeah. yay. And then like yesterday. It went again? It went again oh. with this cable. With that cable? Yes, with the new cable. And I was like, oh, oh it's no. not the cable. Yeah. I don't mind. Having a backup cable is good, especially with yeah. a very proprietary cable. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, it's not the cable. And then I played around with all the cables. It is not the cable. It is not the retro tank because the Jaguar uses SCART and it uses the same cable that this connects to because I, I use an adapter because the retro tank angles it the very wrong way. Um, <laughs> So I have a, a reverse SCART adapter on it. Um, so it's not the cable. So the next thing that I'm going to unbox is related to this. Okay. And it is from Pseudographics. Ooh, thank you. Who is you. in the chat. Yes. So thank you so much. It took, took a little while to get here, but he's not very close. Hmm. He's in Europe. That's always, always a struggle when... <laughs> he said there might be something a little extra. Oh! Not for the cats and not for me. <laughs> oh, for somebody else. Oh, that's exciting. I don't see the extra. The post office take it. Hello, Cafe Man. Hey, Cafe Man. Yeah, Friday night show. Yeah, Erlen's sick. That's why he's not here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what do we got here? Oh, oh that's pseudo. What is I'm it? Have what to, is it? I can't see it. I'm going to have to go big. One second. I'm going to have to go big. You watch that camera. <gasps> Oh, so cute. Oh, that's his symbol. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah. That is oh, so, cute. so cute. I love there it. You go. This looks, um, oh gosh, what do I want to say? It has a magnet, he says. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. And what he oh, sent so me cute. is this. It's lovely. And this is, um, this plugs into the power of the Atari 8-bit. And this is a barrel jack that you can use with a standard plug. And uh, what I got 
was a little while ago on his um, recommendation Yay. was a power adapter yeah. that supplies four amps um, because the Atari 8-bit Atari that I have is mm. loaded. It's got so much stuff in it. It's got a VBXE. It's got a U1MB um, for memory. It's got uh, a sub-average cart. That's the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a FujiNet as well. And when I measured recently the amount of amps it uses... Oh, yes, yes. It ranges one from 1 1.4 to 1 1.9. Okay. Which is well over the 500 oh, milliamp, uh, um, 500 milliamps that the original power brick oh, outputs. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, I do have a 2.1 plugged in right now. So it's a little better? Um, but it may not, still may not be enough. It may be like kind of browning out, let's say. Mm -hmm. So now that I have this part, because this adapter is very special like you can't you can't find it mm -hmm. now i can plug this four amp into it because the only other thing besides an internal issue with my atari 8-bit yeah. is the power okay that it's requiring so you're hoping that that fix the fixes the issue i hope otherwise it's something inside that's loose which okay. is not the worst thing in the world but something it loose requires a little bit of work to figure out what's yeah. going on so i yeah. would just open it up and start like wiggling things and like there it is okay <laughs> yeah the toka goes four yeah this is this is massive yeah but might be necessary. So oh, we'll see. I will be um, playing around with that very soon and it will report, be reporting back. Very see, cute. Uh, you can put it against. Oh, don't okay. lose it down the couch. Make sure it's magnetic. Where are you? Uh, well, you put it on here. Put it on this one in the middle. Can you see it? This one. Oh, there's a the middle one. Then it won't be blocked by Excellent. you. Excellent. Oh, so cute. And dance on that little uh, that's cat yeah. fodder but we'll yeah. see <laughs> yeah there you go you can see it Aww. very nice <laughs> okay so we're gonna get to the games finally everybody says like Ooh. geez how long do these people take to get the games going? well you, you have to you have to treat the cats gotta treat the cats you have to do gotta the go unboxing. through the news gotta do the unboxing yes yeah yes. okay hi Oh, you, you hate me so, so much. So... Does not want to be here Oh, right you've now. got a cat. Okay. I, know I grabbed him. Oh, okay. So the first game we're going to be playing is Joust. Oh, okay. And it's a two-player game. Uh, everybody knows Joust. I don't need to show you the arcade version of Joust. Mm -hmm. um, so that's good. We can skip okay. that. Um, Joust is an action game developed by Williams Electronics and released in arcades in 1982. Mm. While not the first two-player cooperative video game, Joust's success and polished implementation popularized the concept. Mm -hmm. So it's one of an early implementation of two-player co-op. Because if you think of Pong, that's not co-op. No. It is two players. Yeah. But you're against each other. And a lot of games back then were against each other. Probably because programming a computer to play a human is not easy. No. Especially when you have limited computing power. Um, so this was released for the arcade, Apple II, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari 8-bit, Lynx, Atari ST, mm. IBM PC, Macintosh, and NES, but not the Jaguar. And Very interesting. And Cyrano J has supplied it Yay, for the Jaguar thank you, now. Cyrano. Um, now, this is a very special version of it um, because they've included... Uh, the person who did the audio for this is um, Dr. Clue. And they not only included the Atari ST sounds, they included the Atari 8-bit sounds, the arcade sounds, the nice. 2600 sounds, the Lynx sounds, oh my goodness. and the 7800 so sounds. the whole gamut of sounds. All the sounds. In one game. So Very nice. So if you nice. like a certain uh, sound set, then nice. that's the one for you. Nice. Okay. You've lost the cat, so if you can go to today's date... It's yep. the 17th. Yep. And go to Joust. Load that ROM. I feel like I have not played with... what. Do you, it's not a multi-cart. What do you call that? Um, Jaguar Game Drive? Game Drive. Oh, you've uh, been on the Jaguar show before. So. Uh, the Jaguar show, but I don't think I've... Well, I think we've played physical games oh, and carts. So I don't think I've seen the Game Drive in action before. That is possible. Yeah. Get the volume here. I think we're good now. Okay, press the B button. 
I don't know why they picked B for the main button. It's in the yeah. middle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, it went right by that. Did you press the button again uh, nope. to skip that? I did Weird. Not. Okay, one or two players. So, um, two, you two. play one player for now. Oh, very nice. Ah! <laughs> and down. Oh. Okay, so when I said that we we're gonna play oh. this, Dr. Clue posted, <laughs> um, the person who did the sound for it. Of those, Joust is a nearly daily play over here and a personal favorite. Uh, thanks 1,000 times, CJ. Making these sounds, making the sounds for this game was a blast. Still pr proud of making a pterodactyl kill on the Lynx for the sound sampling. Atari ST graphics plus, li plus Lynx sound effects. You get the best Atari Joust on all the Atari consoles with the Jaguar. So I guess he really likes the, uh, oh, he just missed it. Likes the Lynx sounds for this. Oh, terrible. Oh, no, it, uh, the MRQ files are there. Just Tanya flew by it really quick. You might get errors due to score saving. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, Tanya scrolled down really quick. But um, the MRQ files for the first two games didn't work, possibly because of the long names. I'm not quite sure on that. But for the last two games on the list, as they show up in the uh, Atari uh, Jaguar game drive, um, the MRQ files worked. Oh, oh, you just uh, oh. Oh, too low, too low. Should work as long as the file file name matches the ROM. Oh, I'll have to check on that because it didn't work for the t top two. Yeah, it's this is an excellent version. No and bonus. Yeah, no yeah. bonus. And Cyrano said it's one of his favorite games. Um, I thought the special aspect that was you were going to be oh. riding Sprite and Atari instead of a stork and an ostrich. <laughs> oh, flying cats, that'd be so cute. Okay, mm -hmm, let's mm -hmm, go for mm -hmm. two players. Do so you like that one, that joystick, or you want to use this? Oh, this is nice. I like this joystick. It's oh. nice and wide, so. Okay. <laughs> you want this one? I do, but. We can no, swap. no, no. We no, can swap. Like I don't no. mind. Okay, so nice let's joystick. press button. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, let's exit out. How do we exit out? Oh, nope, not those. Link sounds. Can't exit. Just have Option. to die. Just have to die. Oh, I have to turn up the sound. Is it a little quiet? Okay. Just run into them. Wow. There you go. I hear cats. While you're dying, I'm going to go see what that cat's up to. You! Both of you! Oh my god, what are you guys doing back there? Catspiracy! Come on, get out of there! Dead yet? Almost. Looks like you killed some of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Unintentionally, but yes. You're doing better than last time. I know. <laughs> You're trying to kill yourself. <laughs> That's the funny thing about Joust. <laughs> Ten yeah, Cyrano says, Tanny beats the game while trying to die. Yeah. There we go. Yay! Okay, let me uh, All right. start the game over with two players here. Why does it start up? Why does it start up? How do we exit out? Is it a combination of pause and option and... A, B, C? A, B, C. So you know, how do you exit out? How do you start a two-player game? I pressed B to go back to the menu, but it just uh, didn't. Okay, I'll die. Try, yeah, I did try that. It's not Together? working. Yeah, it's not working. Just reboot it? I have to. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Like eight years ago, says so I can't remember. It was like eight years ago. Yeah, exactly. It's Rage Reset. You know, I have to listen to my t shirt and mm -hmm. do it in Rage Reset. No, stop not dying. gonna do is not press the B button. I'm gonna try press and... Press fire to continue. Oh, let the countdown end. Oh, okay. okay. Come on, countdown. Don't do anything. No. Nope. Just let it... Because once we're on two-player, we can continue with two-player. Yeah. You're There's dead. no countdown. You're dead? 
We're going to do a rage reset in a second. No I countdown. I might have made that up. I can't remember. <laughs> That's okay. I, okay. Think, I think reboot. Yeah. It's a reboot <laughs> Stuck time. in the... Then we can show the MRQ files working. Okay. Yay! Cats. 100% cats. 100% I blame cats. cats all the time. Mm -hmm. It's easy that way. They, okay. They can't, they can't um, defend themselves, so... Nope. Tar age, not touching anything. See how fast that goes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's pretty fast. Too. Okay. Two. Two players. Yay. Prepare to joust, buzzer bait. Okay, you're on the left. Stay on your side. It's cooperative, but you can kill each other, so... I always find that interesting. Hey, stay on your side. I was on hey, my side. Hey, get on your side. <laughs> bonus awarded for team play. Oh, woo! Team Yay. bonus! Oh, my God. Um, Cyrano, if you could touch on why a lot of Atari ST... Stay on your side. Why a lot... Okay, I'll go on the left. <laughs> oh, I was trying to... Why a lot of our Atari ST games uh, were at 30 frames per second. I was trying to do a um, some research on this today. Hey, hey, get on your side. <laughs> that You're going to die. Egg. It's not anybody's egg. My we're, egg. We're cooperative. Uh -huh. um, some web pages said that, you know, they were like, well, we could do 60, but you'd have to reduce the window size. Um, <sighs> because they they it was a sacrifice to um, to keep the game running fast. So they did a lot of games in 30 frames per second instead of 60. Um, because there's no hardware support. Oh, can't read it while I'm playing this game. Ah. Shoot. I find a good tactic is stay low and then when they get to you, because they come down to you, um, you fly up. Get him, get him. Don't go. Oh, oh what? Oh, that was weird. Just the wrong angle. Yeah. I was just slightly dipped behind down him. What's down. that guy doing? Doing a little tour of the place? Yeah, he's, he's so slow. slow. He is slow. What is he doing down there? No, get away from me. <laughs> I love my. Um, there we go. Ostrich, it's so colorful. I love how colorful it Player is. Player 2's so ostrich beautiful. is beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Get away! I'm not hitting you! You're so close. You're like flying towards me. You're trying to kill me. Oh, egg wave. I'll take the top, you take the bottom. Okay. No, no, no. Yay, one more to go. Yeah, we did it. Uh, because there's no hardware support for everything, so for uh, anything, so the 6800 uh, does it all. I'm dead now. Hundred percent. It's dead? all you. Oh no. All you. Definitely not as good as this game as James is. Ooh. And I'm not good. <laughs> oh, somebody got caught and <laughs> pulled under into the lava. Mm -hmm. Foolish. Yeah, there's definitely. Doing, guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely, you have to get used to the momentum of joust. Mm. This version is just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The colors are so good. Oh, we have to change the, the um, Sound? change the sounds. Yes. How does that change? With so that? there is music, um, which is really weird because they put green sleeves on it. So um, it's like three, starting at three, I think. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, turn off the music. There, keep it on that one for a second. Oh, turn off the music. There. So this is the Atari ST sounds, which is probably was already on. So go to the next one. Atari 8-bit sounds. Ugh, pterodactyl. Gonna die. 
next one. Arcade sounds. Oh no. Oh, different volumes. <laughs> Six hundred sounds. That's funny. Included that. That's so good. Ah! Oh, that's going in the lava. Next. Next one. Very link sounds. Oh, just and next one. Is there a next one? 7800. Hi, you enjoying this? Which oh, is funny because the 7800 would, has the same sound chip mm -hmm. as, as the 2600, but obviously it was redone. So I'll go back to, I don't know, the Lynx one. Um, Dr. Clue likes the Lynx one and he's the one who did it. So. There we go. is good. Very good sounds. I always liked playing this in the arcade, even though I was terrible at it back then. Because um, it just, the sounds were so iconic. Such great sounds. Uh, Davil23 says, what's the difference between the 2600 sounds and the 7800 sounds? And Cyrano says 5,000. 5,000? 5,000? Probably 5,200. Probably 5,200. Yeah. <laughs> Close. About... Well, 5,200, my math sucks, Cyrano. <laughs> <laughs> about 5,000. Uh, How about that? Uh, uh, cheeky, cheeky. Cheeky. But yeah, it is the same chip that they're using because yeah. they didn't use the pokey chip in uh, this game. But obviously they redid the sounds a bit um, because the 7800 has more processing time for the TIA. So you'll often hear a lot better sounds out of the TIA. Um, it's, it's a JAG port of the ST version. Yes, done by Cyrano, Cyrano. Reboot. Who's, oh God, who's in the chat. Yeah. Or a I mean, jag conversion of the ST. Yes. Yeah. Whatever you'd like to call it. Or it uses the same conversion. code base. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to note that. Um, oh my god. Um, they were converted using machine. Oh, it was close. No, he oh, trapped me. Oh, he gotcha. Um, they these games were converted using machine code. Like he didn't have the source code for these games. So he had to go through the, the machine code. Oh, oh God, getting, gotcha. You're dead. They're moving really fast. Wow. Thy game is over. Thy game is done. Looks fantastic. Joust is one of my favorite games yeah. ever. Uh, do you have a, a Jaguar? This is available to download. Yeah. Both awesome and, and bizarre. bizarre. Most it games, is so bizarre. Most games were so bizarre back then. Who thought it up? What drug were they on when they came? They're like... So many. Hmm. It needs to be someone with a lance on an ostrich, you know, like. It's like I want, I want knights, but I want them to fly on ostriches. And what flies? An ostrich, not John, really. <laughs> John Newcomer created joust, yeah. yeah. But where did that come from? Was was like jousting on ostriches a thing somewhere? <laughs> Maybe. It's possible. I mean, the birds are big enough, so that makes sense. That was uh, Defo someone who'd who'd be, been been to Australia, Australia, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Defo. Okay, the next game is Midnight Resistance. Now, I had not heard of this game. Don't load it. Okay. Uh, don't load it! Don't load it! You're not allowed to load it! No, we have to do things. I, I a little... have stuff to say before you load it. That's right, a little bit to say. Um, so this is from, uh, it was posted September 20th, 2017. The last one was posted t November 21st, 2015. Yeah, it's been that long, Cyrano. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, eight years. Uh, this was 2017. Um... So I'm going to show you what the arcade uh, game looks like. Um, oh, also, uh, I'd like to add 
that uh, Reboot has a Patreon. If you do like these games ah. and you want to support Cyrano in making more of these conversions, nice. Um, Reboot Games has a Patreon, which you can go to right there, which will uh, help you know give him more time to work on these games because nice. he does release these for free in uh, in the Atari Age forums. And if you do at this level, you get it uh, two weeks earlier than everyone oh, else. Very nice. Just get a little jump on I'd like people. Like to get it early. Yep, uh, plus a bunch of other stuff that you can read on there, on uh, his web page. Um, but we're going to take a look at the arcade version of Midnight Resistance. Oh, not I'm already excited. Ever seen this before? It is a run and gunner. So let me go back to the beginning here. So one of one of oh. a genre you enjoy? Yes. Uh, a there we go. Yeah, I do like run and gunners. Uh, Midnight Resistance is a side-scrolling run and gun game uh, produced by Data East and released in arcades in 1989. Look at that flowing hair of the guy <laughs> on the jeep. Yeah. Oh, and it's gorgeous, flowing backwards, too. Gorgeous, yeah. Uh, Midnight Resistance is set in a dystopian future. But what? everyone has very nice long Very hair. nice, beautiful <laughs> flowing hair, quaffed perfectly. Where the player controls a member of the Resistance movement who goes on a mission to rescue his kidnapped family from a drug kingpin. So it was, a it was ported to uh, the Amstrad, the Amiga, Atari ST, uh, C64, never played on the C64, Spectrum, and uh, Mega Drive. Um, and Cyrano J let me know that Flying Shark and Midnight Resistance, we're going to be playing Flying Shark, mm -hmm. had the arcade music added to the game instead of the Atari ST music. We need to change the cart. Oh, thank you. Toko, thank you. Um, so the music you'll be hearing is the music that you're hearing right now. Um, so let's, wow. uh, and this was released on cartridge. Uh, for those who were around back then, um, collecting Jaguar stuff, uh, through, um, Pallades, Pallades, uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, March 13th, 2018, mm. uh, there is the cart for nice. Midnight Resistance. Very nice. And a manual and box. And there it is. That's the next game we're going to be playing. Okay. Flying Shark. And nice. there's manual and box. For those of you who were... Cyrano says, I think Gaz T still has some if you message him on a target. Oh, so that's there you nice. go. Oh, let's bring up that uh, person's name again then. Uh, there it is. Gaz uh, T. G-A-Z-T-E-E. -E. Nice. So if you do want this on cartridge, he may have some left. Reach out that's to him. That's nice to know. Uh, he did a whole set of different games that were conversions from Atari ST. Mm. And this is set number... Uh, ports 2.3. Not sure what the numbering system is, but this is set 2.3. You might want to reference that in your email to him or message to him. Um, okay, so let's load up this game, Midnight Resistance. Now, there is a cheat code. Uh, we'll play it without the cheat code and see how it is. Okay. <laughs> see, the uh, MRQ oh. file didn't work. Sorry. It's very weird. I don't oh. know why. Hmm. Something to do with the file name or the dots or dashes or something or underscores. Not sure. Um, so, Midnight Resistance uses play mechanics and controls similar to that of the Contra series and can be played by up to two players simultaneously. <gasps> Ooh, okay. To do. Uh, except for the Sega Mega Drive Genesis version, which we're not playing. Mm -hmm. Playing the ST version. Uh, the main distinguishing feature is the inclusion of a rotatable joystick, similar to the one used mm -hmm. in Ikari Warriors. Obviously, that's the arcade version. We don't have... Don't touch that. Don't touch that. The spinner? I have not fixed this oh. properly. So okay. if that's out of alignment, that won't work. Uh-oh. Really? So don't... I touched it, oh, so... That's okay. We'll... Things you should tell me before we start a stream. <laughs> touch, touch, touch. Oh, touch, this touch. isn't two-player either. Oh, okay. It didn't say that. In... Okay. The Wikipedia needs updating. Midnight Resistance. Okay, let me just test the joystick. Yep, everything's good. Okay, so Up that, to jump. that's fine. Up to jump, B to fire. Um, I think there's also C is enabled for this for the bombs. Probably don't have any yet. 
So it's just one player for now. Turn around, jump. Ah! Oh, he catches up to you. Yeah, he's faster than you. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to shoot him. Use your weapon. Uh, okay. Uh, allow the player to just adjust the aim oh. in one of eight directions. So you can move the joystick around to aim at different directions. If they're like above you or below you, just like in Contra. Um, this allows the player to keep their aim in one direction while moving in another, even while crawling or jumping. Very cool. The power-up system is similar to the one in, featured in Heavy Barrel, in which a player collects keys after defeating certain enemy soldiers. Each player can pass possess up to six keys at a time. At the end of each stage, the player will enter a weapon storage room in which various uh, new weapons and other power-ups can be released from their lockers, depending on the number of keys in the player's <laughs> possession. <laughs> All your keys! Get those keys back! I find the control a little janky for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's different because you're also you're aiming and moving at the same time. With but it, one controller. Yeah. And jumping. Which is, is a little... I'm not used to it. But it's okay. I will figure it out. The lights are in our eyes. Does this look dark to anyone? It is dark. I don't know why it's so dark. It's really, really dark. Maybe it's the game? I don't know. Uh, ah. Yeah, very good visuals in this. I love... Uh, this type of graphics. I'm gonna have to jump over those slow moving uh, oh. balloon bullets. <laughs> those are probably the slowest, oh, no. slowest bullets I've ever seen in yeah. a game. And I think we were discussing this the other day. The speed of bullets, too slow is bad. Too fast is bad. Somewhere in between. Oh, oh, I didn't realize. I'm like, oh, do I get that? No, that kills you. Sound is quiet. Yeah, sorry. Every game is different. There we go. This will be good to hear, actually. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Press button. I, continue. I felt, Press button. Continue. I, oh. There you go. Now you go. Yeah. There you go. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Yeah, it's different controls. The controls. Oh no, sure. you have no keys. Guess where you're going? Nowhere. Now you can go through the door. You're going to the locker. No, through the door. No, can't go that way. I no. was just checking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes in games, it's like, oh, secret. You have no keys. Oh, I can't buy anything. No, you died and lost oh, all your keys. Oh no. Yeah, every game has different volumes, so gotcha. I have to adjust up and down. Oh, what can you do? I should check it every time. This display does seem dimmer than it could be. Uh, it's very dim. Uh, I'm going to crank it up a little bit. Uh, gamma boost. That's probably not going to hurt us too much there. That's, there we go. That's That's pretty good. Need a higher full time audio tech. What do you think, Atari? I'll give you treats if you want to uh, be my audio tech, audio and video guy. Hey, you can switch switch video inputs and make sure ah! the audio volume's good. The jumping is very. It's different. <laughs> it's very different. Oh yeah. It's, it's the turning around. It, uh, th See, I turn around and I shoot up. It's because it's it's a slow like. You're almost like aiming your gun as you <gasps> as you move. Are oh, you still invincible? Walk away! Walk I away! Can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so odd. So you kind of have to think that left and right moves you, and then you also move your gun by pointing in that direction. Yeah, but sometimes you think you're gonna move, but you. Turn. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I find. I think that's what you need to get used to. Yeah, I think you have to make jump. There you go. Um, I think you have to press exactly left. Otherwise, you're like um, aiming your gun. Two keys. Maybe the bolts are slower because your character moves and turns more slowly than in other games. Yeah. Yeah, he does move. He does move more slowly. When a bubble maker meets an artillery weapons. Yep. Duck. Down, down! 
because he shoots down. If I'm shooting and I go down, he shoots down. You have to almost stop shooting and then go down. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out. It's different controls. It's very different. I mean, they had to adapt it from the arcade, which has um, a rotatable joystick. Yes. Yeah, which obviously I can the see Jaguar that. does not have a rotatable joystick. Yeah, see when I turn? You he, like, turn, you, you, you do an arc. Gun. You don't move right away. Yeah, sounds... And and it that takes getting used to, I think. I you, you move can... quite slowly. Oh, if you jump, you turn immediately. If you jump. Yeah. So I think that's... Oh, and if you um, kind of press down, you jump? Well, you, you, you kind of get stuck um, in, in, down, in the down, too. I don't know. The fastest way to uh, turn around is definitely jumping. Yeah, it is. Which yeah. is weird, but hey. Whatever works. Yeah, and there's... considering the guy who comes behind you, you can't can't outrun. You, you have, have to, to jump over. You ah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So that kind of works. That kind of works. You kind of jumping is better than work within, turning around. Within the confines of the exactly. game. Exactly. Exactly. That law guy got a good score. <laughs> <laughs> law guy. Who's law? Down. Somebody named Lawrence, maybe. Mm. Mm, maybe. Hi. You enjoying the games? Says yes, because there's treats involved in these yes. games. More games. How are you doing? Ah, uh, run. How how is it being? Uh, eight plus a day? Is eight it? plus a day. Yeah. yeah. Eight, eight years year old. old. Kitten. So you got a new phone today. <gasps> I did. My phone died. It died on on oh, Sunday. I yeah, think I talked, talked about that on Tuesday. Yeah, talked about it that. It just on the show. completely bricked. Ah! Oh my God! I can't. Yeah, I don't know how you survived that. Um, I have completely six bricked. Yep, hundred percent bricked. Oh. And uh, duck. Nope, but not like that. He's not shooting at you. Oh, weird. Well, you continue to do that. He's like, I'll wait till you get in position. Yeah, exactly. Then Thank I'll let you. you. Um, Yay, you can buy stuff. Woo! I wonder how many things there are. Um, but uh, I want the shot if you're going to have your phone die on you, Bullets. there's probably no better Ooh, time for that two keys. to happen than almost immediately before Black Friday is all yes. I'm going to say. Ooh, so uh, there have been some good deals posted already. Oh, I see. Two keys, one key. Yeah. And you got $300 off your phone? Yeah. Which is pretty good. It's very good. Uh, I don't know what a shower is. <laughs> What's a shower? What's HM? I'm gonna go for S charge. Sounds like supercharge. There we go. Do you have a new gun too? Yep, got a gun, but now I have bullets for that gun, so I Homing can't... missile. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Oh, people are shooting off fireworks. I do like the fireworks. It's easier no. to get under him, ah. actually, if you can get past yeah. him. There we go. Oh, up. my God, no. no, not up there. No. Oh, no, my gun, get it. Oh, my key. Oh, should have just shot once. Um, the graphics in this are astounding. So good. Fireworks on a cold November day. <laughs> yes. I th think this would benefit from a dual joystick control. Ah, oh, just made it. Yeah, actually, probably probably would pretty be pretty good with dual joystick. Yeah, one for um, aiming your weapon. One for aiming and one for moving. Definitely a lot of contra vibes going on here. Oh, huge! Ah, uh, no, no, no! Oh, key. Yeah, I like the weapon upgrades. Mm -hmm. I like the key thing. That's right. cool. I'll be right back. Hi, sir. Oh, how am I going to get past these bubbles? Here we go. And duck. Whew, just in time. What is past us? I don't even see. There he is. Into the sewers with the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Okay. Down. 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 What? Oh, I'm going to have to do it at an angle. No, stop it. There we go. Hooray. Oh no, auto scroll. Get down. <laughs> How awkward it would be to aim with the number pad. Uh, pretty 
awkward. On this, it's not too bad. Um, because you could use your pinky to fire with the B button. Oh, I like this. This this is where the angles come into play really well. Where you're scrolling, where you're uh, crawling around, and there's people at different angles. And somehow you're able to shoot through the floor. But, you know, video game logic. It's okay. Can I get him? Yep. This is awesome. No, no, go down. Go down. No, 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 my keys. Oh, no, there's a guy there. No, oh, still invincible. Quick, get down. Shoot him. Do those guys have weapons or they just like stab me when I get close to them? There we go. Let's get down there. Oh, what? What just happened? Did I fire a special weapon? I think I had one. Are you playing for me? Did you take over? Yes, he did. He did. He's ready to have his turn next. Yep. He wants to shoot some bad guys. This game is awesome. Oh no! I thought I would get him in time. Give me my keys back. My keys. Oh, Gamma Dev is excited to play. Got his. G GRS Akari Warrior Arcade Stick in the mail today. I'll be playing this with authentic controls sometime this weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ugh, I'm gonna go down this level. GRS. GRS Akari Warrior's Arcade Stick. GRS. Oh, why did I go there? Ikari? Ikari. Uh, uh, well. I Ikari. Ikari. Well, Ik Akari is how I think most people pronounce it, Akari? even though that's probably wrong. Nice. Akari Warriors. I'm sure it's not. Oh god. No, I don't want to be there. I guess we gotta jump away. What? Or do I have to jump over that? Or do, do you have go to, to the right? It? Do you have to go but to the right? I, but I have to shoot it. Oh, oh, I just shoot the platform. Or no, that. No, ah. no. No, no, shoot it. You shot it. Oh, no. I no? went through it. Oh. What is happening? Maybe you did shoot it. What? Shoot the. Do you shoot? Oh, I did. No? What? <laughs> ah! ah! No! Okay, there. Oh, my God. You so I just have it. to shoot it a lot of times. <gasps> what are you doing? Okay. Ah! I kind of want to get to the left and do a lot of shooting. Oh, oh, what? Now the whole thing's not disappearing. It's just going. Okay. Oh, weird. Inconsistent and weird. <laughs> That's why these games are great. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Avoid the spinny spiky things, says <laughs> Carl G. Thank oh, you, Carl pro G. Tip. Pro tips from Carl G. <laughs> it's a halfway boss. Ah. Hey, MPL Arcade. Welcome. Playing some uh, Atari ST to Jaguar conversions. Yes. So we're playing it on the Jaguar. Oh. You can't Ooh. aim at a diagonal. You guys have no weapons. Oh my goodness. All the keys. Oh, but duck. <laughs> oh, door. Shoot ah. the door. Gamadev says GRS is Glenn's retro show. He makes lots, lots of arcade repro controls that can't be done properly with modern control pads like the Star Wars, Star Wars yoke, the Tron oh. stick and spinner, and some customizable mini arcade cabinets. Oh nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he, he, he's, he's. The, I, I'm assuming that's the guy who does all the, um, has just infinite co uh, controllers mm. and he makes them work with all the systems mm. it's such a good uh, channel channel yeah yeah. if yeah. you want like if you want to know how to get a control working on a channel Cyrano says fire get the flamethrower oh the okay. fire one will do nice and oh a one up that's probably pretty uh pretty good to get good to have. oh it needs all six keys oh. never mind homing missile yes very nice. So I have two more keys so I can get a shower. Probably good after all this fighting. Uh, or full auto. Ooh, that would use up all my bullets. Nah, I don't need full auto. I'm gonna have a shower. 
<laughs> what good is the shop? What? Okay. <laughs> it's like, nope, boot it out. I guess because I can't buy anything more. Well, um, you had one key, though. That's it. But I... Oh, I don't like this. Or maybe I do. <laughs> oh, you don't run out of bullets. Oh, oh. oh, oh you, you run, do. You, you do. You do run out. Okay. Eventually. It's just slow. It just doesn't do it one by one. Oh my God! What do I? What am I oh. shooting? Oh, my oh. things are in the in there. Oh, I can go in there. Am I gonna hurt myself yeah, by standing in there? I would be very careful. And I can't go back. And I can't shoot. Can I use a different bullet? Oh, yes. That's the perfect time to do it because my flamethrower didn't reach that far. And oh, I have to do it again. Okay, so I have different. Um, mm -hmm thing down there for the homing missiles. Mm -hmm. 48. That's a lot. So how do I jump down? Can you go down? Oh, oh, you jump up. And then it... Okay. Oh, what is happening? Am I supposed to be on these? Am I supposed to go past these? Am I supposed to stay on these? Am I going to be squished against the ceiling? Oh, we're going up. We're not going down. Oh my god. Sir, no, this level was much easier when I was cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Your homing missiles just keep going until they find something. That's hilarious. I love it. Usually they expire in games. It's like, nah. We're just going to go off the screen. Oh, no! Oh, you fell! <gasps> oh! I didn't know you had to keep on these, but it makes sense. <laughs> so if anyone gets above the one I'm on, I'm going to hop to that one. This one seems to keep going up faster than all the others, so I'm going to stay on this one. Watch out for the balloon! <laughs> the deadly balloon! Oh, there's a bunch more balloons. Are we near the top of the tree yet? Oh boy! Oh Get the God. eye! Get the eye! Uh oh! We're using almond missiles for a bit here. Oh, no, we can jump up. Oh God! Ah, uh, I knew it. Get it? Get the homing missile? For it. Oh. They were doing some good work. I think this is the time to use them. I have a lot of them. <laughs> Come on, one more. And do I put that on? Nope. Oh god, what's happening? Oh god, homing missiles. I don't know what's happening. Oh, so I do shoot that. Is it going to come across? Yes, it is. I'm going to have to duck, jump over duck. it. Oh, oh, duck. Uh, it looks a little too, too low for I think, to duck. I think... Oh, it's too... Oh, oh you're, you're in, invincible for the time being. Lucky, but it's not going to be good. Oh, there's a platform on the oh, right. Oh, I think it didn't go that far. Or did it? No, I don't know. Ooh, no, it, it goes all no. the way. Ooh, how Can do I duck? get out? Can you duck? That's not enough. No. I'm going to have to jump Down. different. Oh man! Jeez, what hit? What are you doing this level? I need my homing missiles. I'm just gonna bombard it with infinite homing missiles. What did I say about the spinny, spiky? Yeah, spinny, spiky <laughs> yeah, things? exactly. You're absolutely right, Carl G. I just, I, sh I shouldn't be ducking, and I should just be firing on this. Shooting both. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, God. Double. No. He's shooting at you. Uh, is, is this it? Is it dead? It? This is it. Aww. Heart, heart, heart. Let's do hearts. Nice. Nice. Can't beat law. No one Way can Way too beat hard. <laughs> Excellent. This is a good game. This is cool. Okay. Very, Let's very cool. Let's move on to the next okay. one. Okay. Don't spin the spinny thing. Okay. The next game we're going to be taking a look at is Flying Shark. It's a shooter. Da, da, da. Uh -huh. uh, released uh, January 7th, 2017 by Cyrano J. Mm -hmm. uh, these are all four uh, Meg games, by the way. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, what it looks like in the arcade. And I'll read you a bit about it. Uh, let's go to YouTube. And I'll change the cartridge. Uh, Flying Shark, known as Sky Shark in North America, 
Why? Why would they rename it to Sky Shark? Flying Shark is cool. Uh, is a 1987 vertically scrolling shooter arcade video game originally developed by Tau Plan and published by Taito in Japan or in blah 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 blah. Controlling the titular by plane, the player must fight endless waves of military vehicles while avoiding collision. Blah blah blah. It's a shooter. Um, <laughs> it was ported to the Amiga, Amstrad, CPC, Atari ST. That's what we're going to be playing, the conversion, to the Jaguar, Commodore 64, FM Towns, MS-DOS, Nintendo Entertainment System, X6800, and ZX Spectrum. That's funny, there's a, a computer called the X6800. It's just like, yeah, it's the chip we used. Uh, let's put an X That's in just, front yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, there you That's go. That's the computer. <laughs> um, Not the most creative people sometimes. <laughs> no. And uh, this was available on cartridge, as we showed in the last thing, uh, paired with the other, other game. Um, there is an infinite lives, but I think we'll be okay. We I think fine we should on the play without game. without yeah. infinite lives. It, it's it's a little cheaty, but uh, so that's what it looks like on uh, nice. YouTube. What? Oh, oh. I knew it was cat oh. fodder. <laughs> oh my goodness! Pseudo graphics. You've Pseudo. made a cat toy. Oh no! Oh no! No, cat. you're not allowed. No. Not allowed. <laughs> okay, so let's actually shoot the things. Play Thank you, the Charles. Game. Shoot all the things. So we'll switch back and load it up. Uh, this was back when 6800 was considered a powerhouse, so they had to sell it. Oh, well, if you've got a name to your chip and everybody yeah. knows it, everyone knows just what name your computer that. Is, yeah. Yep. And I would like a 6502 <gasps> computer, please. Yeah. It's like, which one? Yep. There's many. Maybe I should save this profile. Roar. We have our Jaguar right here. Roar. He purrs, though. He doesn't growl. No. Doesn't roar. He's a he's a small cat, not yeah. a big cat. He's a little jaguar. Rawr. Actually, I'm gonna save this profile. It's very bright. One second. This is probably good. I upgraded my firmware so I can name things. Yeah. He's like, it was there before. Where did you put it up top on the shelf? It's on my under my thigh. Uh. <laughs> Okay, Flying Shark is a military-themed vertical scrolling shoot 'em up game in which players take control, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the ti ah. title initially appears to be very standard, as player controls are playing over a constantly scrolling background, and scenery never stops moving until a runway is reached. Players only have two weapons at their disposal. The standard shot that travels a max distance of the screen's height and three bombs, and three bombs. The bombs are powerful weapons capable of obliterating any enemy caught within its blast radius. Even bosses? Mm. Ah, oh, he got me! He, sh he turned around. Got me from behind. Usually the tanks don't turn around. Yeah, that's Ooh, mean. Ooh, very mean. Is, is that? No, it's not bad. Okay. It's a very colorful, cartoonish shooter. It's really nice. Wow, that's, this is very nice looking. Um... Various items are scattered through every stage and appear by uh, destroying certain enemies. Shooting down uh, colored waves of enemy planes spawn items like, look at this one, S power up items, uh, bonus po point. <gasps> Did, Did I get, I know. Sorry, I, pinged, I pinged so much attention to trying to get these guys. Uh -oh. Ah, uh -oh. there's too much on the screen. No, <laughs> too much on the screen. This would be oh. a defensive game. Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on. Oh, it's not auto fire. Avoid what is going on? Something's happening. I'm not going right. Because you touched this. Oh, no. There you go. So, no. Mm. Can I use the other one, maybe? Oh, no, it's fine. And I ran into it, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, it's so nice. It does look about 20 frames a second. But like I said earlier, the Atari ST focused on full screen graphics rather than smaller frames but higher frame rates. I'm... Um, they, they push the limits of what could be done with full screen rather than making smaller screens. Which, I don't know, is it a good trade-off? Is it not? It's too late. <laughs> That's what the game is, so. And when you convert it from the ST, you have to work with the games that exist on the ST. And I would rather have this game than not have this game. I'm absolutely amazed at how quickly Cyrano J cranks out these games. It's amazing. Like if you look it looks back fantastic. to when he started converting them in the early 2010s, and there's like dozens now, that's many, ah. many a year. Oh, you survived it. I don't know how. This was smooth 30 years ago. There you go. 
Uh, one more. Let's get it. Get it. Yeah. Four double oh. bombs. Oh. And, it's oh. almost too hard. In this game, they don't let you continue. They. Oh my goodness. Play defensively. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Defensively. Get them in a the line. There you go. Nice. Now avoid all the bullets. <laughs> oh, where'd it? Oh, there it is. I was like, oh, it went off the screen. Oh, you have four bullets now. Yay! Are they more powerful? No. They're just a little wider. Wider is fine. Playing Doom on a 386 was way choppier and I still enjoyed it. Exactly. Oh, my 386. Yeah, poor 386. Did I play Doom on a 386? I probably had a 486 at that point. Oh, no. Oh, lost your power up. Shoot all the things, but make sure to dodge. There you go. That condenses down all the instructions. Players are given three lives initially. No. Bonus <sighs> lives are awarded at 50,000 points. So what do you I have? I wish you could hold it because it's to make my arm sore. Yeah, I mean, if an upgrade is an auto fire, then I can understand why they didn't give you. But I much, much prefer games with auto fire because you're going to fire as fast as you can. But there's also something to be said with tactical, <sighs> tactical shooting. My turn. Your Rest turn. your arm. It always, it always gets my. I think it's just the how it, I'm sitting too is is helping. But uh, no, sometimes if if it's in front of you, your hand doesn't get quite so uh, tense. Also, you don't need to um, move your fingers that much. Oh my god! <laughs> the first bullet on the screen. That's right. Right for it. This is not an easy game. Carl G says, a small detail, but I like how the shadow is implemented as dithered black. I like it too. Died off screen? Yeah. Is it dithered black? When he when he takes off. You oh. get the little shadow on the ground there. It's ah. like a dithered shadow. You can oh, see it Oh, my there. shadow. Yeah. I was looking at the tree's shadows. And I was like, no, it's I not. like the plane launching getting further away from its shadow too. It, yes, I, nice I, I think detail. that's a really, really nice detail. Simple hey, to do, Kev. but hey, Kev. Still good for tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Been lurking in gaming. Nice. That's what that's what it's all about. Modern gaming or retro gaming? Oh, I bet it's modern. Probably modern gaming. It's PC gaming? Console gaming? <laughs> Kev was the guy growing up. He had all the consoles. <laughs> all yep. of them. I mean he would trade he would trade up. But he had a he had a, a Neo Geo. Oh. I was like, oh my god. Oh, I thought I was going to avoid that. So far, so good. Deep Rock Galactic. I don't know that came. Uh, Kev, you had a Jaguar, right? I'm pretty sure you had a Jaguar at one point. Oh, what ah. hit me? This game is so hard. This is a hard shooter. Mm -hmm. I can see why you can have um, unlimited lives. That that would make it... Use the smart bomb, says Cyrano. Oh, yeah, yeah, I keep forgetting oh, about the smart God. bombs. Is that... A or C more. or? You'd probably C. Probably C. The last one was C for the second one. Not yeah. for very long though. I, yeah, I didn't remember it. I didn't remember if you did or not. Yeah. I'm gonna use the smart bombs this time because I have three, it looks like, to begin with. No! Bullets are so... I'm so slow. So slow. It's one of the power-ups moving faster. Mm -hmm. Usually when you move this slow at the beginning of a game, um, one of the power-ups is speed up. Then there's those games where it gives you way more speed ups than you ever need. And then you go too fast and you start uh, slamming into things you didn't mean to. Now I've got four. Boom. Use it. Yes. Nice where there's uh, mm -hmm. oh you uh. can't you can't stay by the corners because they do come out of the corners. There. Nice. Oh, you didn't get nests though. I did. But oh, there it is. Uh, this game oh, is really hard. It is really hard. I'm gonna do that again. It takes a second though. 
It said it kills and everything. It, it, in, in its no. radius, not everything. Oh no. Oh, no. oh my god, this game is brutal. <laughs> Oh my... Oh, back here. I really want that power-up. One of us has got to get that power-up at least once. I've gotten that power-up. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I love how he's like, one of us. <laughs> one of us has. One of us has gotten that power-up. Just not long enough to hard. appreciate it. It's, it's, uh... Novelty wore off fast on it. Mm. I'm gonna bite once more. Once more. Then we'll move on. I love shooters, and this one's kicking my ass. I don't want it to kick my ass. I really like the graphics too. Graphics are colorful. I They're love bright. the colorful graphics. It's really, really nice. Um, the enemies stand out from the graphics, uh, from the uh, background, which can be a, a problem with like green plains or um, muddy, like everything's brown on the screen. Look at those roof tiles there. They're all super colorful. You know what we need to do soon? Run! What? Do we, we need, need to, to, do soon? to do our Christmas card. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I completely forgot. Yep. Yes, we do. Uh, there's no snow, so. We'll find I don't some think there's going to be any out. snow. We're going to have to do a snowless one again. Oh, that's fine. Yep. You don't that's need fine. snow. I'm okay without uh, snow. We do have uh, accoutrement for the kitties, so... Yeah, you, we usually do their photos separately. Yes. Because they are wiggly as soon as you put anything <laughs> on them. It's very hard to get them uh, arranged properly. Yes. They're naughty, naughty cats. They Starti just don't... Oh, Kev says it's starting up in the local mountains, so that's nice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's dusting. Carl G, do all your loyal viewers get a card? <laughs> Just kidding. Ones I have addresses for, maybe. Yeah, not not usually, no. Because you usually have tons <laughs> left over. So no, we like... don't. No, really? that's not true. I no. think it's true. No, 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 no. I always complain, it's like, can't we order less? You're no. Like, no, no, and then we have a pile of no, 25 we don't. at the end. That's a lie. That's a <laughs> lie. I know we, in recent years, we've almost not had enough of them, so. Okay. Um, I'm going to die doing this. I know it. I know it. Ah. Oh, what does this give me? <gasps> Double bullets! That's better. Oh, wow. That's usually, a lot of bullets. Usually you get much more powerful power-ups by now, but um, I'll oh, take it. A thousand. Nice. Good points. Yep. Oh, they're all hiding. Oh, very cool. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. See, I'm using my bombs now. I'm surviving a bit <laughs> The D-Train. Man, Jetland Skies has really Damn progressed. It. <laughs> <laughs> it has. Oh, my God. The detailed graphics on the 2600. We do put up a digital uh, Christmas card, though. Uh, yes. To supplement those who we do not send the cards to. <laughs> yeah, we don't have addresses for, yeah. or they moved. Oh, yeah. God, now I don't have any bullets. My firepower has been reduced. It's not one of those games where you explode, all your firepower just scatters and you can pick it up again. It's like, yeah, you're starting from zero. Good luck on this top high level. Yeah. Hope you can survive. Um, Why am I standing right in front of those guys? Seems pretty powerful too. Uh, hey, the D train. Um, <laughs> what I miss? Did he say that? No, not yet. Oh, the D train. I must say, I've never received a Christmas card or a Hanukkah card from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Hanukkah cards. No, it's Christmas cards. Well, uh, well, it's a holiday, holiday card. They're holiday cards. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're they're. No, they're, they're too, not adorned too, with anything religious. That's for too sure. Too religious-y, yeah. Fairly secular. Um, Ah, ah, bombs for you! But anyone who does send cards knows you have to be very, very careful with the dates you send things off, especially yes. if you send anything overseas, so... Um, it's like, oh, all the instructions you... lied again! What do you it mean? didn't destroy anything in its path. That thing did not get destroyed. Not completely. Ah, it's probably oh a God. boss. I can barely move out of the way. Ah! Looks, I'm so slow! It looks bossy. It is bossy, but in the instructions, at least on there Wikipedia, it said, oh, it destroys Not anything. everything. Did get him down quite a oh, bit. Oh, I made it. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, my God. That was very, very, uh... 
That was intense. Very hard for a yeah. first level. And I had no no power ups. I haven't even got to the first extra life. This is where I got. Kev's going AFK for a bit. Okay. You it, step it, away from that keyboard. Yeah. If you are done streaming by then, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, Ricardo Pan, this game is very Tiger Heli, similar gameplay. I love it. It's great. The colors are gorgeous. For, for NES. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I have that one on cartridge. Ooh, level 2 has invisible play field. What? No. Invisible. It's giving me uh, flashbacks from... Oh my god, there's things inside these boats. Flashbacks to Mr. Run and Jump from uh, two days ago. Oh, Invisible. the all dark, the all dark level. Uh, ah. Okay, I made it to level two. Really good shooter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very hard. A speed up bonus would be nice, but uh, that's not happening. There you go. So this funny black cat, usually he's on 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 camera. He's been sitting next to me here, propped up against the wall like he's in an armchair. Okay. But it's a very weird spot for him to be, because normally he sits in front of us, so I don't know what he's up to. Let's show that cat. Oh yeah, you should show that cat. He is very cute. He's gonna move. Of course. Maybe take a picture and take a picture of the cat. Hello. He's, he's over here. See the yellow eyes? Uh, can you get him? You probably can't get close. No. He's very silly. Very silly. Level 7. I think I remember James saying this kind of top scrollers were some of his favorite, unless I am remembering wrong. You are not. He does love these scrolling shooters. Love these scrolling shooters. Yeah. Um, or or side shooters or any kind of shooters. I love. Yeah. Shooters. Okay. So cute. You're very funny. What are you doing over there? Next and last game we're going to play is Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters. Woo! Don't, don't, don't load it yet. Well, I'm going. Nope, not loud. Uh, this was uh, posted September 22nd, 2017. <laughs> and we're gonna take a look at the arcade version of it really quick, just to compare. Um. Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters is a multi-directional shooter released oh, wow. in arcades by uh, Atari Games in 1989. Uh, the game is styled after campy science fiction B-movies of the 1950s. Um, nice. It's got some voice. I don't know if it has voice in the Atari ST version. What, what, what other game used that voice? Sounds so familiar. Um, so let's see what systems it was ported to. <sighs> Amiga, Amstrad, CPC, Atari ST, Commodore 64, MS DOS, Sam Coupe, and uh, or Coop, uh, and the ZX Spectrum. Gauntlet, that's it. Yes, Gauntlet. Even the, yeah, this same chip. Even some of the same sounds like. Do -do -do -do. That, that wind chime sound? That's that's in Gauntlet too. Oh yes, 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 it's like yes. Like getting keys or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I love so, that sound. It's like a don't bell sound. don't shoot the food. That would be the Gauntlet one. Um, uh, very very cool looking. Yeah. So it is very gauntlet like. It's also very uh, Robotron. Yes, yes. Uh, Smash TV like kind of three, as well. Red Wizard kind shot of. the food. Yeah. It's the exact voice. Ah, so cool. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So uh, there is a cheat code for this, but we're not going to use it. Load it up, and I will change the graphic. Oh no! I hit Flying Shark. Well, we're not Go playing back. that. So I will. Go do... back. I don't know if turning it off in the middle of loading is bad, but I won't do it. Yeah, we won't do that. But uh, if sorry. you do that on a harmony cart, not good. Not good. Okay. So we won't be doing that. Sorry about that. I definitely don't want to brick my uh, a Jaguar game drive. How to play? Oh, it's drink time. 
Yay, press yum, yum, yum. Has it been, is it time? Oh, look at, I feel, I feel like Atari. Are you, are you hungry? Are you, are you hungry, hungry Atari? Atari? He just meowed. Are you hungry to win? Are you hungry to win? Sprite is, Sprite has been resting up against the wall. Okay. All right, Let's Jaguar. And now for the two little mini Jaguars. It's a Jaguar game. Okay. Let's start the betting right about now. Place your bets. Oh, it's to 10 6, so you're going to want to reset. reset that. To zero, zero. Excellent. So, who is going to take it? Yes, we have. Is, is Atari warmed up now? Is Atari warmed up? Is, is it a Sprite... gray cat got the advantage? Or is, is Sprite it the... full of food? Is, is Sprite too full to go for those treats? He's laying down. He's being lazy. Yeah. Man. Look, they're both meowing. One day, Sprite, I don't know if you were here. Sprite yeah. was laying down. I must have showed you. He was laying down and hitting the bell while laying yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I've seen that one. the laziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you, Prow7, for uh, Treat Time Part 2. Yay. Ready Treat. Time. Who will win? Who will win? Atari or Spray? Pay, place your bets. Yeah. Uh, we've got five people on Atari. Nice. Ooh, four on Sprite. All right. Atari, they are, they're, they're betting on you. They're counting on you to win this gonna time. Are you going to do it? Are you going to make it? Do you think? Are you hungry? Hungry for success? Always be chewing. Come on. Yeah, yeah. that's the spirit. <laughs> Mighty roar. Too bad that wasn't on camera. That was so cute. Yeah. He went, Rawr! Heavy money on Sprite. Oh, Whoa, yeah. See, that's what gets people to bet on Atari when there's heavy money on Sprite. Because yeah. all you need to put is a little bit on Atari. And you might get all the money. And you might get all the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to put much on Atari. <laughs> I did not know that cat gambling was legal in British Columbia. When it's not... Uh, well, I don't know. Is it? Is it legal? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're 15 Getting seconds there. away. Almost there. Nope, don't do it yet. <laughs> I dropped it. Ooh. Oh, they are both ready. Mm. Ah, Predict did not show up now. I had to reboot earlier. Hey, Miss mm. Command. Okay, we're down to five seconds and we're done. Are we ready? Vitoka says Atari 800. He's put 800 on Atari. Oh, there you go. Very funny. Are you guys, are you boys ready? Boys ready. And go. Both are tied off to a start. 1-1. One, one. Both rings the bell. They And Atari didn't run away with it. That's good. That's Is good he sign. done? Oh, Sprite got done first. And he's pressed it again. Come on, Atari. Keep up. 2-2. Two, two. Oh. They're tied. They're tied. Atari Sprite's back at his bell, and he's rung it again. He is hungry for success. Come on, Atari. Get back to your bell. Ring the bell. There oh. we go. 3-3, three, three, all tied up. Sprite is distracted. He gets distracted easily, but Four. he's fast. 4-3 for Sprite. And they're neck and neck again. As Dan said, oh, he's distracted. He has a soft touch. Come on, Atari. Hit, hit the bell. Don't be looking around. Get back to your bell. Oh, Come you on. missed it. There you go. Five, five. Oh, oh. Sprite's just a little Hit bit ahead. Bell. Come on, Atari. Get Catch up. Catch up. There you go. Six, six. Oh, Sprite is just ahead still. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Catch Come up. On. He's catching up faster now. You can make it. You can do it, Atari. You can just pull ahead. Just a little bit. Come on. Ring it. Ring Hit. it. Ring it. Ring Hit it. Hit the bell. Oh, they're very close now. Very, very close. If Atari can just finish quick and ring the bell. Come, Come on. on. Hit the bell. <gasps> He's ahead. Spr Atari has pulled ahead. Game point. Sprite is distracted. And he's rung the bell. Now it's all up bell. to be one of these cats. Hit the bell. Come on, Atari. Oh! In oh. a huge upset. Sprite gets it at the last second. Oh, Atari was catching up. Oh, I was hoping <laughs> he would win. Oh, that was so close. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, no. Next time. Sp oh, no. <laughs> I know. It was so that close. That was the closest in a long time. Sprite, what, uh, Sprite, Atari was on it. He was on it. I think they boom, were boom, 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 truly boom. neck and neck. Yeah, he did get stuck in his last treat. He did, treat. on the ninth treat. Oh, I was hoping he would get it. Yeah. Damn it. Next time. 
Next time. Oh, okay. I feel like that was oh so close. <laughs> so, who won big? Who won big? It is Atari 800 XL rules. Oh, good job. 11,000 Doled out bites. to everyone. Very nice. Yep. Oh, in total, I see. 10 on Atari. Oh, that would have been good. Yeah. Oh, wow. 10 people voted on Atari. Oh, he was Five so on close. Sprite. You almost got it. Atari is his own cat. He doesn't do it for the glory. No. <laughs> yeah. He came... Very close, though. Very close. All right. Okay. Now. They are being forced to create an evil robot army destined to something Earth. Your mission, transport all the hostages back to your ship. Destroy all... Oh, my God. That's fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you can open it more than that. It gets that's hot okay. in here. He'll get it. He'll, he'll open it. Oh, it shows all the different people who developed it. Very nice. Six, five, oh, what is happening? Why is it going so fast? <laughs> Um, I think this is two player at the same time. Is it? So. Sound is low again. Oh, it's just. That should be good. Thank you very much for letting me know that. Okay, mm -hmm. so press fire. Oh, I started. Oh. Have I? No. I've started. You started. Who? Who am I? Oh, I'm. Nobody? No, I'm Noah. Am I? What is going on? Oh, okay. Press the button. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not Weird. moving. Factory, uh, factory map of Planet X. All so right. factory wave, canal maze, bonus wave, reptilian wave. So we're on the yellow. Oh my God, it doesn't wait very long. Okay, so I am green. Tanya's red. And we're playing Robotron at the moment. Oh, I fell off the edge. Oh, oh my get back God. up. Oh, you made it. Well, that's cool. You can kind of hang off the edge. Not die. There's no friendly fire, right? Uh, I hope not. Because this is going to be a massacre if there is. Oh, uh, run goodness. away. I'm trying to. There we go. I got him. Okay, so we got to get these. Oh, my God. They're coming. Get that guy. Flip the switch. There we go. What is that? I don't know. Can't be killed, though. Apparently. Oh, it just needs a lot of shots. Oh, fast guy. Oh, come on. Shoot him. Much better with two people. Because <laughs> then you get more firepower against them. Oh, that guy's firing. Oh, watch out. Do you want to go upstairs or do they, they just keep coming? Jake and Duke. Very 90s. Yeah, let's just go. Ooh, oh, God. Ah! Oh my God, I'm falling off. That's so funny. Get the green diamonds. I'm guessing those are robot souls. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> green diamonds, robot souls. Maybe. After they die, they disintegrate. They seem to be getting hit, but not dying. Oh, is he killed? No. Oh, now I got killed. Okay. Oh, we've got bombs. Okay, Do let's we? see what that does. Oh, Do. it explodes locally on you? Oh, you got food. Oh, your ray power decreases. So we've got big, long rays right now. Ah! Maybe not. Very arcadey. Yeah. Very arcadey. You have to squat down to shoot those low robot... Oh! That's what... what so you hold down to, to crouch. That's what's going on. Thank you for the hint. No wonder. Kittens, please. Ah, that was much faster. I was like, they're really hard to get those. Small robots. Oh. 
How do you crouch down? You hold the button. Isometric is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I really don't like my isometric games. Mm -mm. <laughs> the controls are so weird. Uh, the problem is those robots always are always moving in isometric ways. I mean, it looked cool, but having a joystick that's up, down, left, right, and you have to move in diagonals, like Hubert, makes it difficult. <laughs> But it's not so bad once you like pick a position and you can hold fire down and it's like a um, one joystick controls for Robotron where you can stand still and then kind of fire all around you. Lure them into your ray. Ray of death. Again, the colors are gorgeous in this. Oh, they look fantastic. Somebody was really um, smart with the color scheme. Used a very neutral ground so that everything so where stands are we going? out. Where, like, uh, I think it's always up and to the right. There's something here. I need to get. Yep. There it was. Food. Oh. Can see There's like ray, ah! ray power down there, but. Oh, it does deplete. Oh, I got shot. Oh, rescue the furiously working woman in her underwear. <laughs> Why are you in your underwear? Did the robot steal your clothes? Apparently. Why? Justify. Oh, another power switch. Oh. Someone to rescue, which is also like Robotron. We have to rescue people. Did you hit that switch yep. already? Yep. Switch is done. I don't know if we have to go in the elevator. I'm shaking my head. Nope. Oh, there's an escalator there. Super fun. Love it. There, yeah. Going up. Me too. Going up. Oh, the switches turn the escalator on. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. That, that's That's exactly what they do. Some of them are super fast. Ah! I don't understand the life meter. Did the... The food helps the life meter. Okay. I the, think that the, the green things the, give you ray green? power? I don't know. The green things help? Those walking orange... Orange sickles? <laughs> I, 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 think, I think that, yeah, that's... I keep thinking ah. the same thing. They look tasty. If you would lick them, they would taste like oranges. Oh, get away from that burning computer. What is this? Oh, do you have to touch that red spot? Nope! nope. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, rescue nope. the workers. Up the ladder, I think. I assume. Ah. Yep. Oh, so, so awesome. Oh, Kill I didn't mean to do that! Oh no. How, how do I get back up? I think I have to go... Oh, you're gone. Where go are down, you? Go down, go down. Can you go down? Where oh, there you are. Okay, up with me. No? No? Oh, oh that was weird. weird. Okay, don't go back down. No, it wasn't intentional. Okay. Reminds me of Marble Madness as well. Just the, the oh, boat. stop! <laughs> What's that doing? Okay, we'll go this way. So when, when I told Cyrano that I was going to play um, some conversions, he recommended some some games and these were these were some of the games that he recommended yeah nice and these are these are really great ones great suggestions Cyrano I guess we avoid that okay, let's go past it ah oh I stepped in a trap Of acid there. 
Okay, let's go. Oh, oh no, you're supposed to go there. No, you are? Yep, portomatic. Oh no, we missed those things. Uh, Whatever they were. Next time! New Jack City. Fatal Beauty, I think, is a movie. Sam Elliott and Whoopi Goldberg. Pretty sure there's a movie where everyone working at the drug Referring table is, is naked. naked. Yes. Uh, there is. Was it New Jack City? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, there's, there's, it's not. Oh, no. Do we both die? It's Battletoads. <laughs> Better not be Battletoads. <laughs> oh, we got to go fast. Oh, no. Oh. Back up. Back up. Go up here. Oh, we were wasting so much time oh, sitting no. there. Oh, no. You did not make okay. it. You get no bonus. The computer will select your next sector. I guess we don't get to choose. Uh, yellow again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we went yellow and then blue. Oh, no, that was the bonus wave. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get to see reptilian wave. Yeah, we'll try to... Try to make it to that. And, and dead. you're dead. No. I must be able to shoot it. It's like somebody in it. Or not. Okay. Nope. Ow. Oh, there's the life. Okay, it's those yellow uh, bars beside your name. We haven't been using our bombs. We should. Oh my god, I'm almost falling off. I have a bomb? There we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's a terrible death. Oh my god. How do you get past that? Oh my god. I keep falling off the edge. Run. Whew. Careful. It's, uh... Oh, I just. Oh no. Oh, that's so horrible. That's so atrocious. Am I dead? Uh, press fire to play. Oh, you can continue forever. So we'll go to the reptilian, then we'll stop. Yeah, that sounds good. So I want to see that the different. Okay, let's just boner. Motor, motor, motor. You get those, I'll get these. It's funny you can like shoot the computers. Oh, you can, you can break them free. Oh, I could, I wasn't able to before. Uh, where's the exit? Oh, I probably. The, oh, there oh, we have to find the switch though. Probably this one. Yep. Oh, there's it. Oh my god. There are spinny things. Let's go through this one. Oh, I got it. I was not fast enough to go through the turnstile. Uh, Mike Zero Team said, that's cool. I didn't think 8 bits had that kind of death. Oh my god, I didn't make it. You made it. Run! Run! Oh, I appeared right in the turnstile! That's bad. Okay, your rescue. Which is like, um... Rescuing the people is like... Oh, what's that Neo Geo game? I always forget the name of it. I always forget the name of it. Uh, Metal Jacket? Met metal... Uh, metal... Uh, metal metal slug. slug! Yes. Metal slug. Thank you! <laughs> That's what they say. Thank you! Cyrano, I guess, um, oh, good. They didn't have the voices in the Atari ST version. Oh, the voices sounded so cool. The gauntlet voices. Did you find the treat? He did. Did he? Yeah, it's underneath the amp. He's trying to get it. Uh, it gives him something to do. I gotta shoot these guys first. Okay. You go first. There we go. Run away. Yeah, just run. Run for the escalator. They just come. They just keep respawning. It's yeah. not like you Infinite. ever clear them up. No. Bloop. Bloop. Bonus. Watch out. Oh, oh red. no. Falling off. Yeah, it's red. Oh, there's people in the boxes. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh, you destroy the computer that oh. lets them free. Oh, I guess I didn't find it. Oh, don't go that way. Nothing but death there. This game is so cute. I love it. Love the characters. There's a trap there, watch out. 
they can hit their head on the wall. It's so funny. Switch. Blast your way through. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Escalator. It's a very funny laid out building. Where no uh, rooms are on top of each other. They're all just oh, higher and higher up and to the right. I feel bad if I don't rescue all the people. <laughs> That's leave the them. whole point, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I'll leave them working at their computer terminal as well. A robot invasion is happening. So cruel. Die, evil creamsicles! Die! Ah, ah! One at a time. You go first. We got stuck. Oh, I got hit. Come on, get out of there. Oh, I got hit too. Because the robot got in the way. Get out of the way. Oh, it's you move so slap fast and you move so slow. Nope, get off the red thing. Bet it's up this way. Oh, here it is. Come this way. That way? Yep. Get into the portomatic. Blue, blue. <laughs> it's great animation. That reminds me of um, yeah. the animation in um, Maniac Mansion. Okay, now we're into the reptili. Oh, prepare for battle with the evil reptilon. Use, Use your, your bombs. bombs. Will do. You get some bombs too. There you go. So what's I the I have bomb? 18. Uh, C. A? It's A. very... A. Is it? It's, oh, sorry, C. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking the It's A very well. nearby though. Like you have to be almost swarmed. <gasps> oh. oh. Get back up. Let's get some more bombs. Oh, it's like, hey, you need a lot of bombs. That's never good. <laughs> never good when it's like, here's some stuff for you. You need lots of things. It's boss time coming up. This way, up, no, let's go down this way. Yep, you get one, I'll get one. Okay, up to the right. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, it's a one way. Bet that goes Point. up. Yep, okay. now it's time for boss. Use your bombs. Whoa, 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 bomb. Oh my god. What? He just stomped me. Use all my bombs then. Bomb, 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 and my bombs. Or no, got them. Yay! You do need a lot of bombs. Need a lot of bombs. Woo! Get them. Get them. Gems. And I want to try and do the bonus, and then we'll then we'll stop. The bonus? Because we were just sitting there. Don't hit your bombs. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Good plan. Rescue the people who are trapped in crates. Okay, let's try and do it this time instead of sitting there and watching the counter go down. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Okay, we're good. Yay! That is an awesome game. Wow, that's super fun, especially with so, two people. So good. So, 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 so good. Was that the Michael Jackson arcade game? It feels like a cousin of that. Uh, yeah, a lot of animation mm. on this. Open floor plan workspace. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's it's how so I felt noisy. Too. I love Especially the turnstiles that kill you too. Yeah, yeah. very deadly. That's, that feels about right. It's a, it's a very deadly work. It is. Yeah. yeah. Not not very friendly. OSHA would not be happy. <laughs> or work safe. <laughs> the equivalent here. That was fun. Um, super fun. Uh, good game. It's not deadly for robots. Robots, yeah. It's the perfect yeah. environment. Exactly. Open floor plan. No enclosed uh, cubicles. So let's oh, let's see what everybody thought of the game. Yeah. Which, which was your favorite game today? There we go. Or one that you want to play next? Yeah. That after you sh after seeing them, which one yeah. would you want to play first? Of the four, which is the one you want to play first? <sighs> Joust was really good um, at recreating Joust. I don't mm -hmm. think you'd need any other Joust. Um, Midnight Resistance. What I got once I got used to the way you aim, I found it really fun. Yeah. Um, because of because of the mechanic of aiming, because yes. you could stand in a spot and shoot people in all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. 
and the variety of maps that it had. Yes. Flying Shark, very challenging shooter. I like Flying Shark a lot, actually. It was beautiful. Uh, uh, and challenging, but good. Like, not, not impossible not challenging. Not impossible. Yeah. But I, I was like getting three. better as I went further. Um, Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters, very cute. Also excellent, yeah. Yep. Um, reminded me of a, of a brawler game where you yeah. just keep going from spot to spot, but without the brawling. It's like a brawler shooter. I don't know what kind of uh, genre that is. Yeah. What Ooh. would be my next one? I feel of the gameplay of those four, I think I really liked Flying Shark. It's going to be between Midnight Resistance and Flying three Shark. three for me. What would I play again? I think I'd... I think I'd play Midnight Resistance. I think you next. would because you were you were getting through it pretty pretty well, I was and like, oh, I I found it challenging, but the, it it was really nice looking. So yeah. I'm gonna go for yeah. two. Two. Yeah, two yeah. for me. All right. Um, but they're all excellent. Very um, very good games. Great job all, all at picking them. those games to convert over, Cyrano, yes. and um, mm -hmm. excellent conversions. Yes. As well, you did a great job. Um, they look good. They sound good. Um, yeah, lots of fun. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't show that. Um, also, there was, uh, you're able to order that one. You were able to. I didn't make a cover up there. ST Ports 2 4, robots. So, 1943 and Escape from the Robot Monsters, these were available June 1st, 2018. Nice. Um, complete a box, 50 pounds. Clear and red carts, $5 each per game. Nice. There you go. Um, so what is coming up on the show? Let's take a look. So it is the 17th today. Tomorrow we have our retro gaming night. Our local For one. our friends. Yes. Uh, this year it is celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Famicom release. Yes, yes. It was uh, put out this year. So That's we're kind right. of playing Famicom NES. And games. NES games. Because it's the same yeah. console. Yeah. Good times. So Cyrano says, just me message Gatsy. He'll uh, let you know if he has any left yeah, of the games perfect. we played tonight. Um, so Tuesday, we're going to be playing uh, Atari 8 bit mm. games. Hopefully, this uh, power adapter solves uh, the issues. There you go. Hopefully, I'll find out soon enough, but I have to go set up some gaming systems mm. right after this. We're going to be playing Marbled and Ridiculous Reality. Probably just two, because Ridiculous Reality is a puzzle game. So I think I want to spend a little bit of time on it. And then on the 23rd, we're going to be playing a ton of Jaguar games. We're going to be <laughs> counting them down, mm -hmm. starting from 1993 to 1994. It's going to be an after dark. What day is the 23rd? I think it's a Thursday. So yeah, next Thursday, we're going to be playing them in chronological release order. Yep. Uh, we'll be playing 93 and 94. Nice. Should we just show up then? Yep. <laughs> if, if you know our address yeah. <laughs> and you live in Vancouver, you bet. U.S. Thanksgiving, that's on right. Thursday. That's right. Oh, perfect. On Thursday. So you can eat food and watch and Jaguar watch games. Retro. Yeah, there you go. No pressure. <laughs> We're just playing through the games. Nice. Um, and then we have some random games. <laughs> uh, Atari Age Johnny. Day is coming <laughs> up. I don't know if it's going to make it for the end of this month on the 25th. Mm. Um, I'll have to check in with Al if that's all going to be arranged in time. But most yeah. likely it's going to be December. Um, Early December? December 2nd. Okay. Most likely. Cool. But we'll see. But I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, Four-player special. We're going to be playing some four-player games. And there's some Jaguar games. Excellent. Gauntlet 2. Nice. With the uh, team tap. Okay. Is able to be played four player. And that's a conversion. Um, also, Rampage, you can play three player. That's a conversion as well from Atari nice. ST. Nice. I don't know which games we're going to play because there's so many. So yeah. I might have to concentrate on like one or two systems. Yeah. I probably want to do the 5200 games because we really haven't played those and dove into those. And then before you know it, it's time to vote on the Atari Homebrew Awards. That's Coming up fast. Well, well, February. Three months. February 2nd. Oh, actually, it's almost like, yeah, two and a half months. Yeah. Oh, that's fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, I better get doing some more stuff. Um, <laughs> so that's when we uh, reveal the nominees. Nice. And everybody starts voting Yay. in all the categories. Um, and then the awards presentation is on the 24th of February. Always lots of fun. 
Um, thank you, Pseudographics, for the uh, cute little he's, fox he's guy. Yeah, don't worry. Always oh, floofy. Oh, he is floofy. Cats. <laughs> Cats have already gotten to him. End of the year is way too close. Yeah, yeah, it's a month and a half away. Yeah. Less than that. Oh, he's so cute. What is he, he is made so of? cute. 3D he looks like a 3D printed uh, yeah, fox. Yeah, he's 3D printed. In oh, three so colors, cute. he looks fantastic. Yeah. So cute. Gorgeous. Love him. Thank you, Pseudographics, and yeah. thank you so much for sending me this as well. It was a gift. Yep. Oh, um, the very adapter. nice. Thank Excellent. you so much. Hopefully that solves my problem. Yeah, that'd be really good. If not, I'm guessing it's pretty simple. It's a loose wire because it's just going in and out. Hopefully that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not something yeah, like a chip too crazy. or something. Printed, Printed by, by a friend. friend. Nice. Oh, thank, thank, thank your you, friend. friend. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> for us. Um, so people voted Joust. Joust, 71%. People love Joust. It's a classic. It is a classic. Um, and uh, my vote for Midnight Resistance made it 14%. And one person escaped from the planet of the And I, I, w I would vote three. So that would three. be that one vote. Oh, there you go. Three. One, so, one vote for Flying Shark. There Everything go. got a vote. Yes. Very nice. We oh, got about 20 of them. Oh, they're so cute. They're so great. Um, yeah, they're good to include in things you send people. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, so we'll be back. On Tuesday, for some Atari 8-bit. Unless something usurps it, which is possible. Mm -hmm. um, so, say goodbye, kitties. Well-fed cats. Two treat times. You did very well on your second go-around. Um, but next time, you got to win. Because these people are betting on you. Yeah. I've wasted all their bets. <laughs> he, it, it was very close. He yeah. almost had it. You just had to get so that last just had one to in. to reach out and ding it. Yeah. He was all finished eating, too. Yeah. He could have done and it. And he was just kind of waiting, and then Sprite just got that paw in a little faster. Yep. Uh, so, um, big thank you to Cyrano J for converting all these games. Atari doesn't care. <laughs> we'll, we'll be doing another one of these in the future and going through some more conversions. Yes. In the future, because this is great. Yeah. Um, thanks for playing the game, Cyrano says. Yes. And thank you for making them. And everybody for tuning in. Pseudographics, thank you for your gifts. Uh, the D-Train, Cyrano J, Vitoko, uh, your uh, coaster that you won is in the mail. Nice. Sent it today. Yay! Um, nostalgic. Have you got your coaster yet? can't remember. I think Nostalgic mentioned they got theirs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Miss Command, Yay. RC7E, Dan C, Mike Zero Team. New name. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Crewneck Lion. Um, oh, yeah. First yeah. time chat. Thank you. Uh, Ivory Tower Collections. Um, I know you mentioned RC seven RC seventy and Dan AVC, but I'll yep. see them again. Uh, Metal Lunar Seven, Metal Ricardo Pym. It's Kev. Hey Kev, see you tomorrow. Uh, Dave L. Dave L. Twenty three. Dave L. Dave L. Dave L. Sure. Dave L. Uh, MPL Arcade. Oh, right there. Yep. Oh, was that? Uh, I don't know what that is. Do you have a channel? Do you have a channel? Don't know. Oh, yeah, it looks like you have a channel. Cool. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Um, have a great weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see you back on Tuesday with some more awesome homebrew games. It's going to be excellent. Yep. See you then. Yeah. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye-bye.